What is up guys, TLG here with episode 1 of the TLG The League of Gamers podcast. I'm your host Alan and in the Discord call we have Kevin and Shadow. Blake's going to be joining in a little bit because he went to do something real quick but he'll be right back. And today's topic we're going to be talking about our favorite underrated games. So some of us picked like at least 2 to 5 games and what we're going to do is we're going to you know each take a turn talk about one of our favorite underrated games and you know have a good discussion you know maybe we'll have some funny moments in here and yeah you know if you guys enjoy the podcast make sure you guys give us a follow on twitch if you guys are watching this on youtube when the next day because after um because right now we're streaming it on tuesday so tomorrow on wednesday i'm going to be uploading it on youtube as a premiere so that way you know if any of you guys miss the podcast i'll be in the i'll be in the chat just chatting or if you guys have any questions and ask me there but for any of you guys that are here watching the podcast live then you know thank you so much and you know just want to give a quick shout out to Kai for hosting the stream thank you Kai and yeah I'll make sure to mention your your games your favorite underrated games in the stream so yeah so let me unmute me unmute um, Kevin and Shadow and yeah hope you guys enjoy Potentially, then a direct could be pretty much ready to go. All right, guys, but say hello to the stream. Will... What's up, guys? I'm reading hello. supposedly Lego Super Mario in the next direct. <laughs> I am not kidding. <laughs> I mean, hey, we got rabbits and Mario. I'm not gonna lie. Imagine, imagine Lego Super Mario and Smash Brothers. Like the fuck. Oh my god. It's like they make Smash Brothers Lego oh. version, Lego edition. Oh, it's like Lego Rock Band for, for, for Smash Brothers. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, Lego Rock Band was good, not going. They had a, they had a fantastic soundtrack. You know, the fact that Lego, the franchise itself, has already reached so many like other franchises, I don't yeah. see this as threats at this point. A toy set, maybe not. A game... Not like mm, okay. not if anything, I would say it would probably just be like a set, like not a game, but like a set of Legos for Super Mario. Yeah, Pop, maybe maybe uh World One One or something can be can be le- Lego fied. The, the thing is, if they were gonna do Lego, they gotta go eight bit. Like like you there's no means- there's there's no other option to go. To Lego other than 8 bit Mario. We know what this means, right? What? We finally get the mold of Bowser. <laughs> <laughs> we finally get Bowser, we finally get Peach, we finally get all the characters. Actually, wait. Oh no! That means I have to make long ass legs for Luigi! <laughs> oh, oh my, my god! god. <laughs> Dude, imagine. Oh my god, that would be amazing. That would be that would insane. Be- that would be. I would love that. I would. I'll, I'll take twenty. Toad. Toad's already. Toad is already dual. Just give him the child leg. Toad's. Toad's just. Toad's just one block. Like that's it. Like that's all he is. <laughs> he gets no posable leg. He gets no legs. He's. He's just a block of Lego. He's that type yeah, of. He's there's, Toad there's, the, the legless block. Toad the legless Lego. Uh, oh my god! I'm, yeah, imagine, man. imagine Waluigi being in a Lego version. Like, I, I can kind of oh see it, honestly. God. I can no, see it. No, no, Wario. How are they gonna do that shit? How the how are they gonna do it? Like, I don't think it'd be that hard to do Wario. I feel imagine like they would be the same size or the same. Ima- Im- imagine X? With, the same width as well, Mario. Why, why would he be the same size as Mario? I mean, yeah, I, can, I'll be, I mean, I guess because like it's in Lego form, and so it's like, uh, unless they have like a big Lego piece for his body, then I think they made that. This. That that really did stop them from making a bunch of other talent. I'm quite sure they'll just make a custom mold to the one character and never be Wait, used what? again, like they always do. Wait, what game? We we're talking about the Legos thing real quick before we get to the main topic. Um, Lego Mario. Le- Lego Lego. Yeah, supposedly this is <laughs> gonna be a. This is a supposedly oh, is a it, leak. Oh, is it a Mario Lego? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I saw that on GameSpot. <laughs> well, I didn't see it. I just I saw the thumbnail and I was just like, uh. I mean, hey, if we got rabbits and Mario, I think we're gonna have 
and yes. Actually, you know what? They could make a custom game too. Like it doesn't have to be like pertain to Lego or Mario. It could be something that we don't even know about, like how Rabbids did. All right, but we're not. Here. That, so. All right, but we're not here to talk about Legos. We're here to talk about our favorite underrated games. We can talk about Legos later if anyone wants to talk more about it. But... Before we end the before we end the stream, can we just talk about our favorite? Tune. Mario game? Wait, 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 wait. Wait, Nintendo just released this three days ago. What? Then tune in, tune in on three twelve at three p.m. Pacific time for a Nintendo Direct featuring roughly forty minutes of information focused on twenty twenty Nintendo Switch games, including new details on Animal Crossing: New Horizon. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that too on Game Point. Dude, what? So we're getting, so we're getting a direct on the twelfth in two days. Okay, we're getting a direct. Okay, goody for, for you. Me, for, for, I thought, you get for me, it says on the, for me it said twenty six. Nope. Oh yeah, because they made the rumor video. A couple they of made the ago. rumor video. That's why. So Nintendo, like, okay, who who said this? Nintendo of America. So is this is this yeah Nintendo of America? The official Nintendo of America Twitter just tweeted this three days ago. Three days ago. Three days ago. It has like, cause no one saw it. It has like no. It, okay. it doesn't. Kevin, even... are you sure it's real? Are you sure it's the real Nintendo? Oh right my now? god! It has the fucking wait. Does it hold up? Oh my god! You got trolled. <laughs> I got fucking trolled. <laughs> ah. It has, it has, it has the damn elf thing. So it's, it's at Nintendo underscore e n. Well, then there you go. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. It's nope, for I gaming. Think. Yep. P parody account. It even says it's a parody account. Fake Dumb news. Ass. Get that Dumb shit ass. out of my. Get that Dumb shit ass. out. I'm not Dumb even ass. following. Dumb I'm ass. Not even... <laughs> Fuck you guys. <laughs> we love you, Kevin. <laughs> never, never change, man. Never change, man. But yeah, I um. Why? I'm not even following these guys. Why? Why is that on my feed? <laughs> But I was gonna say because on Games Plane made a video twenty minutes ago saying it's coming out on the twenty sixth. Like not even twenty minutes ago. So I was, I, was gonna I, say, I, I literally I literally Oh, you know why? Because I looked at hashtag Nintendo Direct. That's what happened. Mm -hmm. That's what happened. <laughs> but um that's what happened. That's can my we, fault. Can we talk about our like favorite Mario games at the end of the stream, just to celebrate yeah, the guys? Yeah, I'm done. Let's yeah. just. Or do you want to do it first? Or do you I want say, to like, I, I say at the end of the stream? I say the end. Yeah, of the let's do it at the end of the stream. Thing, yeah. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, so we'll go a little yeah, because today as we're recording, fine. today is Mario Day, so you know it's a good thing that you brought it up like that. You know. Yeah, good job, Blake. Good job, man. Thank y'all. All right. So. Oh, yeah, the Alan. man. Yeah, Shadow. Alan, the the thing is. Said earlier about the uh, Mega Man, I'll go ahead and take that because I can't find a third game for Pocket Takes. All right, that's fine. <laughs> you can't find a third game. I, as a as a connoisseur of underrated games, as a connoisseur. What? Now I've seen it all. <laughs> as a connoisseur of underrated games. <laughs> I, <laughs> it's oh my god. Oh my god, I'm gonna start calling you that. You need to have that as like your Twitter handle or some shit. It's evaluation <laughs> time. Again. Oh god. Oh my god, not black and white anime again. Oh my god. No, that was good. No, that, that, that anime sucks. I mean, it was the worst one. But it, was still... it, was, it was easily the worst one. Why? Alright, so, okay. <laughs> Why is that of all references? Before we talk Continue. about it, I don't know how to say one thing. <laughs> because of Jason Griffin. Everyone, give Blake the spotlight. If anyone, like, is watching the stream and is just like, oh, Blake hasn't talked about his son under a game and when he shouldn't be caring about me. Um, I don't have anything because two reasons. He only one, plays I was, mainstream I was scared, games. Like, I was scared whatever game I was going to talk about. One, someone else was going to talk about the same thing because that has happened before. That has happened before. I'm not going to talk about the game. If you're thinking I'm talking about that game, I'm not going. No, it's not on my list. No, I just, I just want to give them an example. Like this one time, like back when we first started YouTube, like made two, two or three years ago, I think two. Two. Um, no, there, we're sorry. We did this, 
We did this one podcast oh. where um, we were talking about stages. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And like me, like me and Kevin both had the same idea as Alan. And what he. It? What was it like? What was it? Was it like um, an aquarium? Yeah, an an aquarium constru- it was a cons- it was a construction zone and aquarium. Yeah. 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 I had the aquarium. Kevin had the and- construction zone, and Alan just had them both. That was bullshit. Wait, what? What game was this? Splatoon. Splatoon 2. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was Splatoon 2. Yeah, it was Splatoon 2. Yeah, it, was Splatoon 2. Yeah, it, was Splatoon 2. it was Splatoon 2, like right when Kelp Dome showed up. Yeah, when uh, the game was. Yeah, when it was. For some reason, I remember that specifically. It was right after Kelp Dome was released. Oh, yeah. yeah. I didn't remember. Because. And, God, Kelp Dome. And technically, I, one came to, but yeah, technically, that's, one came to fruition, but then, like, the. Freaking aquarium never did. Surprising. That and like mo- most games I played were pretty unpopular, or like they sold pretty good. Mm-hmm. Now, are we doing underrated games just from our own time, or we're we doing this recently? Because I have like a few old. I mean, it could be from any time, from like our childhood. Okay, okay, now. okay cool. As long as you've played it, I think it's fair. Yeah, as okay. long as you played it. Yeah, okay, good. I don't think, good. I, don't think good. Say, I don't think you should say a game is underrated because you haven't played it. You exactly. Yeah. 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 Okay. Heard. Okay, yeah, I mean, my, as long my as, list is still valid. So long as you have knowledge of playing the game, you, not even like completing it, just like playing. Just playing in general, it. like yeah, yeah, just having That's played fine. it once. It's like it's like when someone says Sonic <laughs> 06 is underrated. Like, amen. <laughs> Sonic 06 is underrated. Momentum. Yeah, right. Momentum. Yeah, I know you. Yeah, right. I know. I know you watch my streams, there, buddy. Sonic hey, 06 man. is not underrated, man. Everyone hey, hates hey, it. Hey, Don't hey, even add me. Hey, I'm just saying. There's even mods. If we were if we were talking about underrated characters in video games, Silver would be talked about. I'll be honest. Oh, oh agreed, my agreed, God! Agreed. No, we're we're I'm never doing all the hate. We're never. I want to. We're doing that. You I just want to hear. You cannot say you hate a character just because of the game. Because that is not just right. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. That's what Dylan was like. He was like, I don't care if he was in a bad game. That character's awesome. And I'm like, no, he's not. I mean, Sonic's been, Sonic's been like 20, has been every bad game he's ever been in. Sonic's I mean, so since, great. I mean, since when, what was the newest character in the Sonic All right, we're getting, series? okay, getting off topic. Yeah, we're getting a little bit off topic. Yeah, okay, we'll, okay. We'll, we'll worry okay. about it another time. Yeah, not right now. Um, underrated okay. games. Oh, okay, wait, actually, Blake, you said you, you said you had a game that you were that thought that maybe someone else would have it. Do you want to say the game? Oh no, I no, I was I was just saying that as in just like I thought that was or I just felt an, like that was going to happen. Yeah, just an example. Okay, yeah, because my games that I picked, oh. there, I'm pretty sure most of you guys don't have. As a Yoshi's you know, World you know, or one or one some shit. You know, no. The only thing okay, you know, Alan wanted to mention briefly, but like Watch Alan. Was... Oh wait, wait, I do have a game. I just thought of it. I just thought of a game. Okay. What is it? First. Uh, do you want me do you want me to talk about first or just say it, just say it. Uh yeah. I, I, yeah, Blake, say, yeah, actually Blake, you say it because I gotta I gotta go check on something, I'll be right back. So you guys I'm gonna... Yeah. I'm gonna well, well, okay, so basically we'll each take turns of, you know, talking about one of our favorite underrated games, so if you want, Blake, you can go first. I'm gonna go use yeah, the bathroom real quick. Have, and I yeah, want have, you to be here. Just, just say it. I'll, I'll be right back. And just say Fuck it. Me. Like, we'll... <laughs> <laughs> that was the piss. You know Blake what, Blake? Talk. You know what, Blake? I'm just... I'm, I'm disappointed. <laughs> My parents are, too. <laughs> wow! Oh, that got dark real quick! All right. that, got, that got dark real quick! Alright, BRB. This is... This is one of my favorite yeah, games of all time. I think, I think, I think I'm, I, it's, a, it's either a Kirby game or a Sonic game. I swear, it's gonna be Neither. one of those. Two. Neither. Okay, what is it? It's a Pokemon game. Sword and Shield. No, that is not underrated. <laughs> is, is it? Is, fuck, it, is, is it? Is it's it Let's main, Go? It's, it's wait, what? Is it Let's Go? No, it's it's not a main series game. Is it Rumble? Mystery Dungeon? No, no. Neither of those. P- puzzle? What the fuck? Pokey Park. Oh, yeah! I love that game. Dude, that game is awesome! That game slaps, man. 
Dude, I like the first one more than the second one. I love them both. I love them both so much. I, uh, I the, dude, I love Pokey Park. Dylan still has you. the first one. I never see people talk about that game. Dude, no one talks about it anymore. It's such a great game. I, isn't isn't that game like fifteen years old now at this point? When are they gonna come out? I'm sure. Uh, both, both they, of them came out. Not both teams, but they had a second one. And they had a second game, but it had the black and white uh, Pokemon. Both of them came out on the Wii. I know they both came out on the Wii. I'm checking. When the uh, okay. came out? Pikachu's Adventure came out in 2009. 2009, and then okay. over a decade well, ago. Over a decade. That's fucking nuts. And I'm assuming 2013. 2013 because of no, 20, 2011. 2011. 2011. Mm-hmm. So it came out two years later. Huh? Oh yeah, 2011. No, I, prefer, 12, I prefer Poke Park two personally, but I love I them have, both. They're both I, great. I never played the second one. I feel so bad for myself. I want to play it. <laughs> no, it's, it's fine. Dude, um, I, want, I want to. I want to punch myself in the gut because I wanted to play it, that game so bad. It just brought like a completely new element to the um, Pokemon series. It was just so fun. It was so, I'm surprised like, they didn't. Right, I'm back. I'm surprised okay, they didn't like, make Alan, a... Alan, I, wanna, I want you to guess. Oh, uh, try, try it. You, weren't even, you won't even guess it. It's a, it's a Pokemon game. I figured. I was like, oh god, is it a Pokemon game? <laughs> Dude, it's not Kirby or Sonic. Yeah, that's true. Dude, I don't play many games. Is it a spin-off? Is it a spin-off game? It's a spin-off. Yeah, it's, not, it's not a main series. Okay. Dude, as soon as he said the name, I my jaw dropped. Yeah, apparently Kevin loves this game too. I didn't. Dude, know. I love this we, game. I, I love that never... game. Wow, we need to talk about that game. Oh, oh my god, yes. Pokemon no, Stadium. No, no, no. Pokemon Stadium. No. no, that's a good one though. That's a good one though. Stadium's good. Dude, I wish they remade that for like. Episode. Make a new Pokemon Snap, please. Make a new Pokemon Snap. That's a... Yep, that's another great game. Make a new Pokemon Snap. Come on. Uh... There's over. There's nearly a thousand Pokemon. Was Come it? On. Was it on a handheld? No. No. Okay. It was on the Wii. It was on Wii. Battle Revolution? No. no. I never that game, played that. I that game sucks! sucks. Yeah. <laughs> I don't that even know what I said. That game, that game, that's like the only one that comes round. to mind. That's the only one that comes to mind I mean, for the, me. I mean, I like the cinematics of the game. I like the cinematics. The visuals are great. I know you the game's like, bad. You know, the game's like, terrible. Like, you should pick Pokemon and Conquest, to be honest. Pokemon what? Conquest. That's another good game. Never played. Oh, oh, I, I, I know, I know, I know, I know what it is. What is it? Pokey Park. Yeah, yeah. I, I remember, but I was like, wait, what's another spin yeah, game on the Wii? And then I like, just remembered. I've, yeah, I've talked about it before. I know I am. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I remember you were talking about it a lot back in the day. It is amazing. Alan, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. The vi- the visuals, like everything about it was great. Everything, like, you could everything level about. Up, you could level what? up your moves. Yeah, this is this is your topic. I'll let you talk. I liked um Poke Poke Park two was my favorite, or like um I liked it more because obviously more Pokemon. There was more playable characters than just Pikachu in that game. How many like, characters was it just me? Big, and I and I love the Gen five starters. I love them. They're awesome. Damn, hey, second, how you doing? Let me stop. The Gen five starters are some of my favorites um starter trios in the franchise. Believe it or not. Yeah, like the fucking. I love I love Snivy Tepic and Oshawott. I love them. I everyone hated Tepic. I love Te- I love Tepic. I thank love you. I love Embor. I love thank Walter. you. They thank you, awesome. Blake. Oh my Tepic. god. Tepic was the Pokemon I picked for my first ever playthrough. Tepic was my first Pokemon. Dude, my man, my man. Tepic was my first Pokemon, bro. My man, my man. I think my first ever was Chimchar. No, it was Turtwig. It was Turtwig. No, technically Eevee, but because of XD. But for stars in the main series, Tepic was my first Pokemon. My first Pokemon was uh, Turtwig. I actually didn't ever get a choice for the starters in the console games because only you'd just be stuck with the one. Or yeah. in the first the first game, you'd just be Espeon and Umbreon, which was OP as hell in the beginning of the game. Like, but I loved um, by that point. Sorry. Dude, I'm looking I at my Incineroar was... Amiibo, and I want to open that fucker so bad. One of my favorites um, moments of um, Poke Park 2 was actually the battle tournament uh, post-game, where um, you basically get to pick up oh, yeah. Pokemon. Oh, yeah. And I then you had to go, that. dude, that's, dude, that stuff was hard, man. That stuff, that stuff was a bitch. It was, fun, it was fun as hell, though. 
Wait, is this Pokemon Mark 2? I, I saw someone play it. Added... I'm pretty sure it was Pokemon Mark 2 because I remember um, you, someone playing as Tepic and Snivy and stuff. Yeah, I, then I watched someone yeah. else play it on YouTube. I, I, I never Park, played Pokemon Mark 2. From what I recall, Pokemon Park 1 was just like a bunch of minigames. Like that was it. it was like a bunch of mini games, not so much a story. Like a, um, I guess there was, but like it wasn't. Great. It wasn't much of a story. It was like just. It was the story was basically just like saving Piplop or whatever because it was. It was just yeah. getting all the Pokemon to be your friends stuff like that. Yeah. Was it? Was technically? Was it technically Pokemon Park Two also to save Piplop again? Why is Piplop yeah, pretty much. Every situation. Yeah. Why is Piplop <laughs> such a? Oh, okay. And then Piplop. <laughs> Piplop is the worst starter in Gen Four. Yeah, no one, no, no one likes Piplup. But like, um, I really, hey, I really loved them. Um, <laughs> one of my favorite things in video games is like, believe it or not, it's mini games, like stuff outside of the main uh, game. I love mini games and it's uh, like, video games. So you like side quests and like games with yeah, games I like side quests. Like side quests are fun. Yeah, same here. That's why I love open world games so much. Just because there's so much shit to do. Yeah, same here. That's why I love them so um, much. Dude, you, you know what you would make... just get sucked into hours and hours of it. I loved how they actually had dialogue in a Pokemon game from the Pokemon. That's another thing. That's another thing. I like how there was, like... I love how, like, humans didn't exist in the, this world. It was just all Pokemon, which was awesome. Surprisingly, everything was, like... Like, what, you start off in a forest, and then the beach, and then the pyramid, and then you ended up somewhere in the sky. Yeah, there's so many places to explore, and... Play. There's yeah. Oh, and the um, Pokemon Two, the the support Pokemon that you get to pick. That whole that whole series is just great. Yeah, I. Well, I would have loved voice acting in this game because there was dialogue. That would have been awesome. That probably would have been raga raga raga. <laughs> raga like, raga raga. The game did pretty well, but like it wasn't nearly as like good as like main series games, obviously. Even then, I think Revolution sold more copies. Yeah, the game didn't do amazing. But it did decent. Yeah, so like, I don't... It, they made it enough to make a sequel, that's the thing. If any of um, if any people in chat are like, that game's not underrated, I would not disagree with you, because I honestly don't know. I, I The main reason why I picked this game is because, like, no one plays it anymore. Like, there's, there's like, zero playthroughs. There's, um, yeah, like, there's, no one ever talks about it, like, saying, can't... oh, I love... Oh, I love Poke Park. That's a great game. I never see people talk about it. Ant um, dude, Ant dude made a video about it. Can you see that? Um, the like closest exposure I've had was um Cali Max. Um, she's a Splatoon player that I watch. She was playing. Um, oh Poke yeah, Park yeah. Oh you yeah, like she Poke did Poke start Poke playing Poke. that game. Well, she only did like yeah. one or two videos because um it's um it's her friend Jules' favorite Pokemon game. Like a long time. Aww. I was hilarious seeing it though. Like, God. Uh, yeah, what, Dad? Uh, the cult? I never thought of it as a cult before. <laughs> I was like, what? The it's like, like, it's like they're they're cup they're they're a cake eating cult that hypnotizes people. That's pretty. That's so. <laughs> that that's wow. dark. That's dark. <laughs> yeah, I <laughs> never thought about that before in my life. It's so God, funny God. how things when like over a decade ago, if you go back and reflect, you're like, damn, this shit's dark. Yeah, but yeah, and, I, and, and the funniest part is, is like all the darkest things in Pokemon actually come from the don't you go in a, the main game. Don't you go in a volcano too? Yes, yeah, you do. I think so. And, I can know, and the first one, I know you went in one in one of the games. I don't remember which one. I think it was one. No, it was two. No, yeah, actually, no, it was one. I do know. But, I I remember there was a. Now. I remember, I remember the volcano vividly now. Yeah, I remember you had to pick something up and then walk your ass all the way down the damn hallway. Oh, yeah. That was annoying. And then you had to fight a Graveler. There was a shitload of fire types, obviously. There was, there was what's it called? Not Magmar, the pre-evolution one. Magmar. Magmar. Yeah, it was not It was in the first Poké Park. I found it. Yeah, it was called, yeah. It was called, the, it was called the Lava Zone. Yeah, lava zone. That's that's <laughs> just lava reef zone from Sonic. Yeah. But you know what? The though you know what reminds me the book park reminds me of. What? I feel like it's like a sidestep or like 
you know, a side, I don't know how it's like a side world of mystery dungeon. Like they're both the same thing. Like they're one and the same. Like, I can see that. But different. I can see that. Like they're both in the same world. Like they're both in the same universe. Like there's mystery dungeon and people are like, we'll go in dungeons. Dude, and I shit. love the mystery dungeon game. I'm actually Dude, never. Dude, Dude I fucking love this. this guy. Whatever, whatever the sky one was, I fucking loved it. Oh, uh, oh, Mysteries in the Sky or something like that. Mysteries in the Sky, yes, that one. That one is so good. I actually heard that was one of the... Was that one, was that one of the worst ones? Because like I feel like I... For some was, reason, people don't talk about it as much as the other ones. All right, well... Uh, um, no, no, we've probably been, it's what we've probably been talking what? about Poker Park a little too much, so I'm just going to yeah. pass it on. Pass All it right. on. Alan. Yep. You're up. You want me to go next? Yeah. Go for it. Okay. Uh, one of my games I would probably say is my favorite underrated is Ukulele. Ukulele? I thought you yeah. hated that game. Wait, say no, that he's, he's, been, he's been playing it recently. No, that's Kai who hates Ukulele. Oh, that's Kai. Yeah, oh, Kai man. Kai doesn't like Ukulele. Kai, 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 can't, Kai, Kai doesn't, cannot stand that game. Kai doesn't oh, wait. like a lot of games. Alan, have you played the okay, newest not recent uh, Ukulele game? Impossible Lair? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I was actually playing it this morning, fun fact. Yeah, I saw that. I um I was I woke up and like um you know switch <laughs> <laughs> uh, notification. Now our phone where it has to tell us everything that our phone. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Also I was, like, I was, I was, I was like, oh that's Kevin. Yep, Kevin's calling. I was about to oh. yeah, I was gonna say yeah, because I know it was from Kevin because yeah, I remember no, that. I didn't throw up or anything. I'm good. I just took a nap and I'm like I ate some rice and I'm all better now. How the fuck does he never like, Yeah, like, <laughs> when he does that mute himself, he's just like alright. Yeah, whatever he Kevin, there's a <laughs> Kevin, there's a thing called the mute button. There we go. Oh, thank you. You did it. I did it. Oh, thank you, I did it myself. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> Kevin comes back. He's like, "What? What? what why am I on mute?" Right. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> we had to mute you, man. <laughs> you were on. A, you 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 were taking a phone call. I was taking a phone call. I was. I, okay. Yeah, we, were, we were doing you a favor. <laughs> if you could see my face right now, I swear to God. Kevin's just like, "Oh my God." <laughs> we were doing I, am, I want to. We need to serve an apology. Like, all like predicted, like Kevin be like, like "What the fuck?" <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, like ukulele, okay, ukulele. Okay, ukulele. Yeah, so ukulele. yeah, so ukulele was obviously supposed to be a spiritual successor to Banjo, Banjo and Kazooie. That game is one of the greatest games of all time. Yeah, it's it's really it's really a good game. And I love so that game. when ukulele was announced, I was like. You know, hey, you know, a, a spiritual successor to Banjo and Kazooie. All right, I'm down. And the hell is this shit? It was like back. <laughs> this was like back in like 2016 because they announced. That's it. what I. That's what I would have said. Yeah, 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 I, like, I, yeah. Obviously, for people that are not Banjo and Kazooie fans, they will probably be like, "What the hell is this?" Yeah, non non Banjo fans are just hell of this shit, and, and Banjo fans will be like, <gasps> "Yeah." And then when you and then when ukulele came out, you know, it got mixed reviews. Like some people said they liked it, some people say they didn't like it. I kind of liked it. I, more people on YouTube say they hated it. Yeah, because like it was because it, it's more like a step backwards from Banjo Kazooie. Because yeah. what Banjo Kazooie did right is what ukulele did completely the opposite. Yeah, I was they, gonna, they I was gonna say that for anyone who's watching. We're not claiming these games are good, but we're just claiming or we're just saying that like they're better than like everyone says they are. Yeah. Like, these games should not be getting like two out of tens and like other shit like that. No, not even. It's just yeah. not fair. It's because some of these underrated games we picked were like either games that got decent to low scores or maybe sales wise it didn't like it did pretty well sales wise or didn't do so well. Sort of like that. So that's why we're picking these type of games and talking about them. So yeah, so played a bit of ukulele, you know, I thought it was fun, you know. The worlds were interesting, some of the challenges in the game were really cool. And then last year we got the sequel, Ukulele and the Impossible Lair. I got it. I I didn't even know about that one. Dude, that that game is really good. Like it's definitely I mean, it's definitely better than the first Ukulele, in my opinion. Really? Really? Yeah, because instead of being like a three D open sandbox game, it's more like a two D platformer. 
Sort of like Donkey Kong oh, Country. Gotcha. It's kind of like Donkey Kong Country That's in a cool. way. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, because when they showed off the trailer, it looked like a, a spiritual successor to, to uh, Donkey Kong Country. I find it so funny because the first game is like to ban. It's sort of like to the cater banjo, towards. What's next? Fucking like conquer. It was sort of like, like to ca cater towards the Banjo and Kazooie fans, I and wish then the that, second. I wish, they, I wish they remade that game. Yes, Dude, please. Wish. Dude, that's another underrated game. Conquer. Yo, oh my god, Conquer. Yo, Conquer. Dude, Where's can, my boy Conquer at? Can you? Can we? Can we have him back, please? The real, the Nintendo or someone, whoever owns rare. Conquer. Rare. Is, Rare Xbox Microsoft remake him, remake him in glorious you, HD. Kevin, Kevin, did you see the video in where they tried to make him child friendly? Yes. Oh yes, and it was terrible. Oh, oh my God! Imagine the Great Mighty Poo in HD. Oh, oh no! I don't even oh. want to imagine it. <laughs> I don't even want to imagine oh, that. The Great <laughs> An H H D one one H D an H D pile of shit. H D one thousand A P. Oh my lord. Sixty frames per second. Four K. Oh my lord. Four K. A huge ass pile of shit singing to you. Oh my god. That would be amazing. Like it would be awesome, but also disgusting at the oh, same time. Oh, it would be. Oh, it would be. It'll just. Oh my god. Imagine, like, did you just imagine a poop-shaped monster just moving his lips? <laughs> I can imagine that. The thing is, back on the N64, it made sense, but imagine it being like an HD remake. Wait, it made sense on the N64? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. I guess because in terms of animation-wise, it was like a bit limited yeah. back then. It was, was limited, like, but think of like, the technology oh. nowadays. I was like back in, what, 96? And we're in 2020? Imagine what they can do now with the remake if they actually reimagined it. Mm, like... Part of me is like great idea. Part of me is just like shit idea. Worse, worse. I get it. I get it. <laughs> I'm leaving. No, don't go. No, don't oh, leave. No. Oh. I play Where Monster Reborn. I bring back Blake. <laughs> that only works if I'm dead. Exactly. There you go. I I play Dark Bright. Boom. Now you can't go anywhere. Back to the front. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's that one card that gives you like 300 life points or some shit? Wait, what card? Kevin. Whatever. Do? Derailing too far. What? Derailing too far. Keep, we must keep going. Yeah, we must keep anyway, going. Anyway. Um, wait, wait, I just, wait, I just want to know what the card is. What does it do? It gives, it, it, it just gives you life points. I forget what it is. How, much, how many? Like, I don't know, 1200 or some shit like that? Poison of the Old Man? Poison of the Old Man. Yeah, I think sure. it was. Yeah, it was that. that card you're talking about. It was that, and then yeah, it was Poison of the Old Man. I think. Dude, I want to fucking play Yu-Gi-Oh for this kid, me for Discord, man. Or, yeah. Okay, I want to do right. that too. All right. Um, Alan, do you want to keep going or? Do you yeah, want to I was gonna continue on. Yeah, so I got Ukulele, the Impossible Layer, last year, and it was re it's really fun. You know, I really did had a great time with the game. Because, you know, I'm a fan of 2D platformers, and it really is like really? Donkey Kong Country, but with ukulele. Oh, that, that was probably Blake, I think. Anyway, oh. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, I was playing more of it this morning. Um, I didn't, like, um, I'm, like, a little bit close to beating the game. Like, I left off in, like, I'm, like, towards near the end of the game, to where I've been completing majority of the levels... And in the game, you know, it actually has a cool thing to where, like, you can play the level- you can, you can play the same levels again, but, like, the level design and everything else sort of changes, depending on how, like, in the overworld, like, the environment sort of change. So, like, let's say, um, let's say, like, there's, like, okay, so basically there's, like, a little overworld, right? And in the overworld, there's, like, these books that you jump into, and that's where you get into the levels. Oh, uh, so it's, like, in the, uh, New Super Mario Bros. game. Yeah, sort of like that. But it's in like, where, yeah, but in like in Mario Brothers, it's like more linear, that. whereas in this game, it's, it's like more way. like, you know, you, you could explore. And so like, uh, uh, okay. I it's, it's sort of like a top, a top, uh, a top view Zelda top. game. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. So like, yeah. let's say like, there's like, um, it's like in water, let's say the book's in the water, right? If you go in the level, the level is going to be like an underwater level. But if you throw like a freeze bomb, like a, an ice bomb, I mean then the level will become frozen and then you go through the level with you know the water being frozen so it's sort of like that to where so, each level oh, so, it's like, so it has Mega Man X type shit kind of like that yeah to where like each, 
most most of the levels have their own different variations. God, so that's cool. It really is. And also the that's, best that's also funny. the best thing about the game is that um you can you, you don't have to play the rest of the levels. You can actually go and be and do the like the final the final level being the impossible layer. Cuz it's sort of like taking inspiration from Breath of the Wild to where in Breath of the Wild once you got out of the plateau, you can just go to Hi to uh, Hyrule Castle and then take on Ganon. Yeah. So it's kind of like in the same it's, it's like the same thing in this in this game to where, you know, I could do the other levels but or I can I just mean, go and beat the impossible layer and then just get it over with. I mean that just I mean that just sounds kind of lazy. I mean not really because the thing is is that the layer the the level is really hard, and so with you playing like the other levels, each time you beat a level you get more you get like these bees and then when you go into the level into the impossible layer, the bees are sort of like a shield for you. So whenever you get hit, the bees will take the will take the hit for you and then you know you can be able to progress through the the level much easier. Uh, uh, I'm a I'm not a huge fan of that. I mean I I mean I see it. I see why they do it because you know if it's, it's too like hard. I feel like if you want to if you want to beat the game you gotta beat everything. I mean you don't have to. It gives you the option like you want to go beat the final you want to go beat the final boss and do the final level or do you want to play the other levels just so you can get experience with the controls and everything like that. And then I mean, it just go. Like the lazy. I very I, I I definitely disagree with you on that statement. Well, you don't. Well, you don't have to agree. I never said you had to. Well, I mean, I'm I, just saying. I mean, like, your opinion. I'm not saying it's a fact. If you want to be the, you want to really be the game. You gotta beat every level. But I mean, it's an option, though. Uh, you don't have to. It's an option. Well, I mean, they're not I'm forcing saying. you to like. Hey, you gotta play all the levels if you want to go beat the I level. I know. I'm just. I'm just saying. You want my opinion? You get it. Well, then there you go. There you go. Hey, shut the hell up. <laughs> okay. Okay, Blake. <laughs> Don't talk about your shitty game. Hey man, if you play, I mean, hey, if you like Donkey Kong Country, then you're gonna <laughs> like this game, Blake. No, Donkey Kong Country is one of the best games ever made. I mean, it is, but this is like also like a great game as well. Like, it's like underrated, Dude, but can we, can we get a new Donkey Kong Country game? We haven't had one since the Wii. The Wii U, which was probably the Wii U. What same thing? Not, Not really. really. They're basically the same game. Not really. Yeah, really. I played them both. They're basically the same. Not really. I mean, if you can, different if you levels. Can, if you can beat one, you can beat the other. Well, then there that you go. I agree with. Yeah. But right. they're not the same. Whatever. <laughs> like, just okay. Whatever. You know what? A different game though. Oh, I'll say, okay. Same, same two D platform, just different levels and adds new mechanics. There you go. I will hurt you. I mean that's the truth. What do you want me to do? <laughs> I want like I I legitimately I don't ever I only feel this way about Kevin. I want to hurt you. Right? Okay, whatever. I mean I'm I just saying. Care. I mean that, I'm, I'm just saying to. that's the truth. Kept like you. Why why you wanna? Well the truth. Why do you wanna pick on me? What do you wanna pick on me for? You know what I mean? Um, the truth of the matter. I'm like the nerd in, in, in cannot, I'm like the nerd in classroom cannot, and you're like the bully. <laughs> I can. Yeah, no, you're the fucking bully. I don't I'm, I'm not the bully. You're the bully. How is Alan the bully? I don't know. Alan could get pretty hostile. When? How do we not have any viewers except for me? I am the because, only viewer. Because it's okay. You want me to do a viewer? I am uh, the one. The uh, one. The one. Uh, oh, Licks the Alan one. The one. No. <laughs> you confirmed. He's but, the one. Oh, Alan, no. <laughs> no more. No all right, more all, all right, Kevin. That's you. It, all right, Kevin. You go next. My first pick is Watch Dogs for PS4. No Fair. one talk. No one talks about this game. Everyone Wait, what's it called? Watch Dogs. Watch Dogs. I've never heard of it. Yeah, that's why I don't play PS4. That's what I'm saying. Anyway, this game has to be the biggest underrated. I want to hurt, under... <laughs> hurt you. I want to hurt you. I want to hurt. It's like every time someone mentions a game, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna hurt you. <laughs> I'm gonna hurt you. <laughs> No, but seriously though, this game has to be one of the most underrated PS4 games I've ever seen in my fucking life. Under, probably the most underrated PlayStation game in like at all, just any game ever, because everyone complains about the damn driving controls. You know, you don't do much driving in the damn game. That's the game is way too tedious. I don't see it because you do a lot of different things in the game. You can collect all sorts of shit. Yeah, the main character Aiden Pierce is kind of like eh, but he's still fun and he's a badass. So I don't see what the problem is. The story. Meh. The story is meh. 
but the just the gameplay aspect is so much fun and there's like this like virtual reality game where you can become a spider and you can fuck shit up and it's awesome. I don't see how people can not love this game. I bought the DLC, like I pre-ordered the game and got the DLC. I got I got, I got everything for this game. And I played the DLC and I played the DLC for it and I loved it. Everything about that whole DLC was amazing. I want to play the DLC alone right now. I don't understand how people cannot like the idea of you have a whole city as your playground. Go. Go have fun. Go fuck shit up. Go fuck up Chicago. Like my tongue is so wet. The game itself is just amazing. I don't understand how people cannot like this game as much as I as much as I think people should. Watch Dogs 2 is supposedly better, even though I got to the open world part and then I kind of just stopped playing. You like Watch Dogs 2 too. Watch Dogs 2 was alright. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hate on it. But Watch Dogs Legion comes out whenever and I'm gonna get that game. That game you can actually recruit your own like crew with people and it's awesome. I'm a, I'm actually gonna try that out actually as well. Watch Dog Legion looks sick as fuck. <sighs> It looks really cool. I mean, it was supposed to come out this month, actually. But then I they know. then they delayed it. They delayed it, which pissed me yeah. off. I mean, Kevin, do you want the game to run like shit, or do you want to have it run like I don't, I don't want qual- another high Sonic quality? Boom. Well, there you go. <laughs> I don't want another Sonic Boom. Well, then there you go. Okay. Get that get that shit out of here. Delay the game as long as you need to. Yeah, that's, a, that's a not underrated game. No. <laughs> well, yeah, underrated for sure, in, in certain uh, ways. Uh, yeah, yeah sure, hey, under- under- Hey, man, right. You know, you know for a fact that there is at least one person out there that says the game is good. You know, yeah, that. it's because it's a ten-year-old fuck who that was his first Sonic game. I'm just, well, I'm just saying. I feel bad if if that someone's first Sonic game is Sonic Boom. Oh, I feel terrible. I feel I mean, so terrible. Kids, I mean, kids have no taste. That's also very true. Kids have no taste. Uh, have yeah, in ten years they'll be like, oh shit, well, what kind of game did I play? Uh, oh shit, what was I thinking anyway? I love Watch Dogs. That game is amazing. The gunplay is amazing. The stealth is amazing. The stealth. Wait, I thought you were talking about a different game. No, Watch Dogs. I heard, I heard Cell in like this. I heard Cell or something. Never mind. I've heard of. I've heard. I said oh. stealth. I guess that's what you heard. Uh, maybe. Stealth, gameplay, controls, the, the DLC. Everything about that game is just great. Maybe hey, I don't. I don't understand why people hate it so much. What's up, Vio? Okay, continue. I seriously don't understand how people cannot love this game as much as they should because everything about that game is amazing. Yeah, the the only downside I can really see is that it does get kind of repetitive, but there are so many different side quests you can do in that game and you can like explore Chicago and unlock music, cars, um, get all the guns, get all the achievements in the game. It, away. It's literally I don't understand, and you can black out the entire city. That's, I mean, that was, that's a good, that's a good thing. Yeah, it's awesome. Uh, I think we have a different definition of awesome. All I'm saying uh, is that all I'm saying is that that game is amazing, and I don't understand how people cannot like it. The driving controls are not bad. Shut up. I think the reason why was because I think the reason why Kevin is because like uh, remember I think uh, a year before Watch Dogs came out they showed it at E3 and the game looked really nice like it looked really yeah, good the, the graph the graphic downgrade uh huh and then when it came out the graphics yeah, had a bit of a downgrade that, that's yeah that's another thing people talk about the graphic downgrade I don't see the problem with that yeah the game looked great at E3 and then it was kind of like it looked amazing to like a shell shaded thing. I, I'm not a graphics guy at all, but if people are gonna bitch just because of the graphics downgrade, then you shouldn't be buying fucking Doom on Switch. That shit runs at 30 FPS, motherfucker. I think That's it, all I'm saying. I think it runs at 60, actually. Does it run at 60? It's just, the, it's just the, the resolution it's doesn't just, look good. The resolution's bad, like Overwatch, I think, runs at 30 or, or whatever. I know Wolfenstein runs at 30. So, and De- Destiny 2 runs at 30. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm doing great on Theo. How are yeah. you? Yeah, we're, we're doing good, Vio. 
What's up, man? How you doing? What's up, Vito? And then also another thing, I think Watch Dogs came out in 2013, right? 2014. Oh, yeah, 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 2014, because, yeah, yeah, you're because right. Because it was 2014. Yeah, I was gonna say, if it came out in 2013, then I think another reason why it's underrated is because Grand Theft Auto V came out that same year, and I guess because since Watch Dogs is kind of like an open world game, and it's kind of like a little bit like and GTA V. A lot of people, a lot of people complained about it was just another GTA rip. Exactly, no and GTA V already came out, so maybe that's why it sort of got left under the rug. I guess, even then. The idea, the idea, it was, it was released May 27th, oh, well, it was released on my nephew's birthday, or niece's birthday, wow. May 27th, 2014. Also, they also had like a million different exclusives if you bought Watch Dogs on certain things, too, so it was hard to get everything. But even then, like, all like the special orders and this and that and the third and all the bells and whistles, the game itself is still a great game. I don't understand why people are thinking. I really don't. That game is amazing. I bought it literally like two weeks ago for five bucks and I am loving it all over again. I mean, I'll probably give Watch Dogs a shot. I'll probably give it a shot, but I just don't it's, have the time. It's, it's cheap as hell and it's, the story itself is like fairly standard like it's kind of on the shorter side of an open world game so like you should like, have no time like it's not like like it's not a deep deep story no, it's, deep no, narrative no, story no 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 it's nothing like that it's nothing like red dead redemption 2. Mm -hmm. it's like maybe uh, shit, not, not even 50 hours 50 like, hours that's a short or game. not or not not 50 hours fucking like you can beat that game in a week not even that less than a week Probably like I'd be Mar two, I'd be Mario Odyssey years in years three years. days. Congratulations, motherfucker. You want a fucking cookie? I mean, that would be nice. Okay, what flavor? <laughs> uh, chocolate chip chocolate. Uh, we just ran out of that. Uh, we have oatmeal cookies. Do you, have peanut, do you have peanut butter? No. No, we have oatmeal. Dude, I, dude, I, have, I, I told, um, wait. No, I told you about this, too, because we, we were in the call. I had, my, par my parents were on home a gigantic fucking peanut butter cookie. I ate that. That shit was good. And anyway, anyway, the Watch Dogs is on the shorter side, so you can seriously beat that game like pretty. Oh, quick. sure, you don't. Okay, sure, you don't care about my health and my eating habits. Yeah, <laughs> so I don't. I, like, I really like, don't. Wow, Kevin. Yeah, what the fuck? What the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> you know, it's it's almost a shit. You know, I, 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 I had a Dorito today, and that's all. Play the game. Oh my god. Also, Vio says, can I have a cookie, s'mores cookie, if available? S'mores cookie? That's a thing? S'mores cookie? I think I heard of them, yeah. I've only heard of s'mores Oreos. S'mores? Anyway. Watch dogs! I mean, we have oatmeal. I mean, Vio, we have oatmeal if you want one. Yeah, we have oatmeal. Ew! 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 What do you mean, ew? Oatmeal cookies? You appreciate those goddamn oatmeal cookies! You appreciate those goddamn oatmeal cookies! I will shove some in your goddamn mouth! I will shove them down your throat! You better not. I will. All right, everybody, grab Blake. Cookies are everyone, like everyone, hold him down. <laughs> Football tackle. He has the ball. Grab him. <laughs> you know what? We should make a podcast just about food. Forget the gaming. Yeah, man. Just... Yeah, some gaming. All right, so okay, whose turn is it? Shadow. 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 Yes. Okay, he's not here. Alan, you go. Is he not in the call? He's still- uh, Shut up! My Discord is acting up. Let me, a second. Let me turn off my 3DS because I think it's taking up- Jesus Christ. Let me idea. turn off- Let me turn off my 3DS because I think it's messing with- Okay. Have you guys no, seen that- like, um, Have you guys seen that Pokemon, that Pokemon video that's been like- That Pokemon animation by Jade Animation? Nope. Do you need to? It's amazing. It has over 22. Why the hell? I love that video. It's just, I feel like I'm watching that Pokemon. There's a local shop where they take a super chocolate chip cookie and then stick one of those square marshmallows on top. Only one marshmallow? Or. <laughs> Only <laughs> one? Wow. The one, one marshmallow? marshmallow. Or... 
dude, you know what would be good if like um they took like um marshmallows and like mixed it in with like the chocolate chip cookie batter. That would be good. Oh, that would be delicious. That would be awesome. I would I would buy that every day. Of the week. No, like the okay, big square ones. Margaret. All right, there you go. My Discord is finally decided oh, to stabilize. Okay, okay, I got, I got, I got, turned I got, off my Switch and my Google. Jeez. I was like, could you imagine they just, like instead of sprinkles or like instead of a cherry on top, they just put a giant marshmallow on your cookie. It's <laughs> just like there you go. Boy. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Get, come back for more. All right, Shadow. So, hey, what are your what are one of your favorite games or underrated games? Hmm. Uh, I'll go ahead and start off with. Well, I'll give what you want to say, like before I start. Go ahead. No, no, never mind, never mind. It's it's fine. I grab her, you know, grab an IRL. So Bowser, that piece of shit. I'm gonna play Splatoon. Did we lost Shadow again? Yeah, he's not even in the call right now. Oh, I guess he's still trying okay, to. Well, I guess that. I guess oh, now not in. I can talk oh, about my. See, see, okay, guys, see, see, Shadow's a bit nervous. You know, whenever it's his turn, he kind of has to <laughs> use the bathroom. <laughs> he's like one of those people that has to use the bathroom <laughs> first. Before. He start, he starts sweating everywhere. Like it's ugly. Like... Oh, am I now, Kevin? Shut the fuck up, Shadow. <laughs> <laughs> no, my. Like Discord instead of being asked to just like kick me out. That would be funny. No, I did because like my fucking internet disconnected its entire shit. <laughs> I'm just like, oh great, there we go. Well, that would be in the call. Okay. Anyways, Spectrobes. Here we go. The top-down gladi gladiatorial fighting game, in which case you're a human controlling a, two monsters. A top-down fighting game. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so it's, it's a weird thing. So you're in a giant circular arena uh, fighting these virus-looking things. I have no idea. I, mean, look, I feel like out of everyone in TLG, oh. like, Shadow would be the best at this. Because I feel like I feel like every week he talks about a new obscure game that, like, none of us have ever heard. Of. Yeah, he's like, he's like looking at all the library, all the fucking online games. I, I, never, I, never, I never heard of Fossil Fighters before I met Shadow. Yeah, me either. I was like, what the fuck? Me three. Like I said... Connoisseur of on on <laughs> yeah, you really, are, to, you really are honestly. Exactly. Hello. Connoisseur of underrated games. You're not a connoisseur. You're, You're not, not a connoisseur. I'll be, I'll be quiet. Keep going. Go. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so essentially, think of okay. So you know how Pokemon things evolve, right? Like the monsters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So essentially, they use that same three-step rule, and where there's a childlike form, like a baby form, and then you have like the adult form, and they have like an even more further evolved form, which is like the last stage. Yeah. So then, but of course, like you know, the baby ones, you're gonna be like, ah, oh, it's shit, it doesn't do anything. Well, it acts as your sonar, and what do you like? Like, okay, what the fuck is the sonar gonna do? Yeah, apparently, this is also a um <laughs> a rehash of. The dogs, the Nintendo dog simulation, where you also put them in a little pen and you play with them. So it's so it's like so it's like Pokemon mixed with the Chow Garden. <laughs> well, I mean, you're not in the garden itself. It's like what? more of like they're digitized creatures. They're digitized creatures. All you get to do is like um, pet their their uh, sprites, their three D sprites, because of course they have the three D sprites, not two D. So. In Interestingly oh, enough, it's on. a mix between. Okay, so this game is literally a mix between Fossil Fighters and Pokemon. I cannot put this as blunt as possible. This is as okay. blunt as I can make it. By the way, so, for anyone who's on, like, for, just for context, like, I'm playing Splatoon. Like, I'm doing Sam Run, so if you hear me, like, come on! And yeah, you know. Like, come on! No, come on, playing? step it up! Oh, hell no. Anyway. <laughs> dude, I want, dude. I want that taunt back. Forget the you're too slow. I want that taunt. Yeah, I I prefer that taunt than the you're too slow one. Any, anyways, so just like fossil fighters, in order to get the creatures, you have to dig the fossils. Then the dumbest part, I find this so dumb. In order for you to revive it, you have to make a certain sat like 
you have to hold a certain sound wave in order for it to like revive. Okay, uh, uh, yeah. So apparently, it's called, it's called the it's called the awakening, in where you use the fucking. This is where a games use their the a fucking DS mic. Okay, this is like the games were like, oh yeah, that's a thing. Let's use it. <laughs> okay, now there are rumors on on Twitter about another Nintendo Direct happening on March twentieth. What the fuck? Ignore it, Kevin. It's not. Well, right. it's it. Well, okay. So apparently, we're probably gonna get one in March. We don't know when, but in March. I hope it's March. Dude, are we gonna? Dude, are we gonna stream the Nintendo Direct? Because I feel like we have. Dude, this has been like the first Direct in like a year, so that would be awesome. I'm gonna take it in the, the, the last, morning. That'd be great. The last Direct yeah, was in September. Yeah. All right. I'm sorry. Sorry. Dude, I'm just like, I really hope this is real because God, I wanted Nintendo Direct. Same, please, Nintendo. They're so much fun. Anyway, who's next? I was in the middle of it, okay. Yeah, here, right, well, Kevin, you're jumping, right, you're jumping right to conclusions. Well, well, we're all still talking. Well, well, we're all still talking. <laughs> I could probably keep it down. My parents are probably going to be mad at me. Fuck no. you, Shadow. No. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Shadow. I'm going to play Splatoon. <laughs> Listen, man, Splatoon takes a lot out of me, okay? I don't play this game much. It takes a <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't take me out of way. Fuck! No! Drop that egg, you scum! Like there. Not like that. But like that. Not me. Alright, Shadow. Alright, Shadow, continue. I need help. Okay, so, Assistance uh, would be nice, please. This is like one of the few games Assistance. that actually use the mic. And where you have to revive using the mic. So I'm just like, okay, sure. That's, that's fine. So they put it into the incubator, you feed it minerals. I don't even know why living things have to eat minerals. Like, actual, like, we, yeah, we know we feed Pokemon iron and shit and red candy. Like, no, this is like full on, like, fucking minerals you find on the ground, just shove it in its mouth. <laughs> like, I like, like, that. I can't pick this shit up. Like, you're like, here, eat it. That just, like, makes me think of Aaron from uh, Pokemon. Aaron. You know, yeah, exactly. Think of that concept, but for like every single one. Oh, fuck. So essentially, that's also how you make them evolve. They have to be like a certain Help. happiness, like a certain like fullness of like, and that's how they get they get like exp. In order for them to get exp, that's what you feed them. They don't they don't get exp in battle. Like when they get in battle, like they get so little in battle. And then you can have like, ask, like up there, to yeah. I was about to ask that. Is there a battle simulation battle? There, yeah. Yeah, there is like a battle. Like like I said, you fight like a bunch of like virus-looking motherfuckers, like okay. slimy goo guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's called. They're called the crawl. I. It's like this is like the most animal shit that I've seen in the world. Sometimes like I thought, I thought, that, dude, I thought that was Megalovania for a second. It sounded like it. Like oh, God. <laughs> No. What the hell was that? I'm scared. Leave me alone. Don't worry, Blake. The, don't, worry, don't worry, Blake. The boogeyman's, the, the boogeyman's not coming for you, okay? Don't worry about it. <laughs> hey, he better not. I'll fucking kick his ass. I'm, I'm rereading the material. You guys want to know what they call the EXP in this game for the monsters? Um. Purple things. <laughs> purple things. Sure energy. Wait, what? Wait, what? They call that uh, minergy. Wait, is that the guy from... Minergy? Yeah, minergy. Help! Help me! That is a weird name for that. <laughs> yeah, so apparently there's like three oh shades of pyramid or rectangle and crescent. And so each one, so the pyramid gives you more attack to your monsters. Defense is the rectangle, oh, and then health is the crescent one. So there is kind of some strategy of what you want to do with them. Is that the same so you chick from... One of them really oh. No! Oh, God. I forget about this. Okay, oh, so oh, in oh, order... Oh, give me up, give me up, this give me up. Is the, this is like the dumbest gate-locking feature in a game I've oh. ever seen. So in order to play wireless with your friends, you have to... You have to um uncover a certain cube item that you have to dig. But of course, it's RNG, so it's not going to be guaranteed 
you get it. Then you need one for the Nintendo Wi-Fi, and then one where it enables you to put like back in the day when they had like the touch when they actually used touchscreen for like codes and shit. So there was like one of those as well. So like each copy of the game, you get like three of them, which I have right now. It's like little plastic, like slit pieces where you would put it on top of the DS bottom touchscreen and you'd like tap the things in order in order to get that because that would be like the only code input format you could actually do back in the day and so that's how you do that and that's uh, I hope you, uh, I hope you don't behind a little thing Wait, what it's already 10 o'clock I mean, of course, your your human character can fight too, but he's like weak as shit. <laughs> he's weak as shit. There's like even no purpose in having the character there. Like, yeah, he has stats, but he's he's weak as hell. Like, oh god. Like, uh-huh. like, like once the creatures die, it's up to you to fight them. And if you just like die, you get restarted to the spawn point of where you were. You don't even get you don't even get like pushed back. Like you. Start where you your ship landed, which by the way, I forgot to mention you have a ship that you have to use in order to land in specific locations. And if you get lost, good luck finding the ship again because it's gonna be there somewhere. And there's no map actually, there is actually, really, there is no map. Oh god, hold on, wait, is there any mention of a map? Oh god, no, no, there isn't. Oh god, I forgot this game was really bad. <laughs> There's really no map. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, there is no map. Oh no. no. <laughs> I realized how bad this game was, and I realized why it's so underrated. <laughs> but yeah, pretty much you just you just essentially just hand solar yourself off to different planets, go through the story. You get a bunch of Pokemon from the Earth, from the ground, whatever planet you're going through. Uh, hey guys, I just realized that this week is Friday the 13th. Yeah, you didn't know? Nope. I don't care about that type of shit. I just noticed it. <laughs> well, there you go. Alright, well, let's, fin- let's yeah, have Shadow hey. finish and then we can hurry up and talk about one more game. Oh god. But yeah, the base synopsis of the plot is pretty much just Dig creatures out of ground, revive them, feed them, shove them minerals in their mouths, fight a bunch of gooey monsters, complete story, the happy ending. I don't know. To be I honest, the bosses. I mean, the fucking. To be honest, the fucking bosses are part of it in this game. I vividly remember it. It's so bullshit. God. Glad I finished this game years ago. Never have to touch this ever again. Probably I should play it once again. You know, I should stream it one day. For the hell of it. I see, yeah, I say go for it. I think it'd be interesting. I feel like we should just all stream, like, if possible, like, all these underrated games, just so people know, like, why the games were underrated <laughs> to begin with. I mean, I'd be down. I'd be down. I'd have to go buy a new fucking computer, but goddamn, I'll do it. I'd have to buy a DS that actually has an emulation card because my 3D. I would have to buy an Elgato. I would have to buy a new computer. <laughs> I mean, I'm setting up for an Elgato anyway, so that's already on the list. I mean, I mean like, honestly, I know, but like, that's like the best choice. I mean, Blake, if anything, one of us could stream it, and you can just be on the call with us. I would love if one of you guys stream Poker Park. Hell, I'll do it for free. I don't give a shit. I'll go, I'll hook up my Wii and buy it right now. Yeah, do it, Kevin. Oh, God. Okay, okay where's eBay? Uh, <laughs> yeah, go, go. We need to go look for it. Always, always go for eBay. All right, Vio. They're, all, they're, always, they're always trustworthy. All right, shout out. Anyways, Zach. I'm done. Oh, oh wait. Sometimes, no. Sometimes, oh, sometimes they might give me bud. I forgot to give one detail. What? This is made by Disney. Disney made this game? Yes. And literally in the back, it says Disney.com slash video. Is there anything Disney can't do? Disney's going to one day just rule the world. Disney's going to become president. I think, they, I think they already have to be honest. Disney pretty much owns everything. I'm pretty sure Disney is like the, big, the biggest company in the but, world right now. Well, no, Amazon is. Then Disney. 
Don't do Amazon. Or not Amazon. I was about to he, say. I was about to he, say, dude. I hate, I hate Sam Run. Shit's annoying. <laughs> I hate I, Amazon. <laughs> wait, I hate Amazon. <laughs> wait, what? I, I, just, I mean, like, wait, Amazon, what? Yes, I mean, Amazon, Sam and Run. Um, yeah, sure, they sound totally similar. They sound totally the same. And the run part. Or the on part. On part, like, okay. Yeah, uh, yeah I, I guess. Shut yeah. the fuck up. Okay, um, anyway. Yeah, can we get the tape and shut the fuck up? <laughs> okay, I'll, 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 get, I'll get my NC State tape and just duct tape myself out of that. You usually yeah, like put, usually like put actually, tape. You just put tape on your lips and then just take the tape out. <laughs> there you go. Turn myself. Ah, you mother. Okay, so <laughs> who's who's next? Wait, so Blake, so do you have another game, or what's the last? Or Poke Park is the only one? I mean, I guess you could talk about. Uh, I guess I could talk about. Oh, get away! Okay, uh, everybody, get away from Blake. <laughs> Everyone get away. Hold on, I'm on. Hold on. Everyone, <laughs> everyone, <laughs> hey, everyone, go to his give bathroom. Me, by the way, just for fun. Give me for now, I'm on the, give me for now, I'm on the last one. Alright, alright. Hey guys, hey guys, go to his bathroom, I have a disco ball. <laughs> by the way, just, just for photo evidence. I got the drinks. On to the top. So there you go. The party! Wait, 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 what are you saying, Shadow? Okay, so I went ahead and put the, the box art Not of the game in. on the chat. So you guys can just see it, just to look at the generic of what it is. Okay, all right, that's fine. All right, Kevin, do you want to go? What? Oh, uh, yeah, sure, I'll go. Okay, okay. I'll we'll do we'll do one more because you know because uh, yeah, because yeah, it's I'll been like an hour and thirteen minutes, and Blake does say that, or Blake says that we should uh, talk about our favorite Mario games since it's Mario Day. So. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, otherwise um, we'll be here all day, and you know we we'll, all got we'll stuff to do. Night. Yeah. And I gotta work. I gotta work in the morning. Like, yeah, and I gotta get up early in the morning as well. So. We'll, all right. We'll I just went my way. If I can start now. Okay. You wanna? Do you wanna? Yeah. All right. All right. Let's let Blake um, go, and then you, you go, wanna, and then I'll. Do you wanna? 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 Who's going? Guess me. Is, is it, yeah. Okay. Well, okay. Let's just have Blake go, and then. Let go. And then Kevin, and then me, and then Shadow. And then that's it, because I'm trying to get tired. I had a long ass day today. Alright, let, let's try to speed this up. Um, I was going to talk about Sonic Heroes. I knew you were going to have that one on! I knew that's it! Got that. It's a great game! It is a great game! Facts. It's a great game. It's so underrated. People don't like that. I don't the thing is... don't like that game. The thing is, I was going to have that on my list, but I changed that at the last second. Yeah, because... Yeah. Because I, I knew you were going to talk about it. Because it's a great game. I mean, how could you... I don't understand why people don't like this game that much. It was on the More... GameCube. I mean, it was on the GameCube. It people, was multi-platform. People, people say that, like, the GameCube is the best um best console. So, like, obviously... The best console game... for the game? Shut the fuck up. How many times do I have to tell you? Because at that generation, the PS2 and the Xbox were roaming free, friend. I don't know. The GameCube was doing pretty well. No, nah, if you don't, that's that's you just see on Nintendo, but you don't see shut the up, PS2 or Xbox. Shut the fuck up. Just talk about Sonic Heroes. And quit interrupting me. Then stop saying bullshit. I don't know because I don't care about PlayStation. Then look up shit care. before he starts. Oh my god, Blake. I don't give a shit about PlayStation. They're gonna fucking die in a fire for all I care. Uh huh, yeah. Wow. Keep yeah, keep talking. Xbox, right. Alright, Vio, take care. PlayStation and the Xbox are the exact same thing, just different exclusives. That's literally it. And yet we're still fighting over them. Alright, continue. For some fucking reason, because people don't have brains. Blake, Blake, talk about Sonic Heroes. Okay. Um, it's a great game. Everyone should love it. Everyone should play it. It, why, should get why, remade. Why? it should get remade in HD. That would be amazing. The game would be awesome, and it would definitely sell. Definitely sell. Would it sell, the though? The teamwork aspect was genius. Would it sell, though? And could you, we have so many more Sonic characters. That, like, we could definitely have way more teams of three. Like, we silver, can probably... like silver, blaze, I don't know, uh, sticks maybe. Um, 
We could have team. We could have team Babylon. They're on their trio. Yeah, that's that, true. I wouldn't that mind that at all. That like not a lot of people typically know about. I love Team Babylon. I hate them, but I, mean, I, I hate them, but I wouldn't be opposed to them being in the game because more well, content. Okay, I'm gonna have to. I'm just not gonna. Okay. It's just they're annoying. Like they're so cocky and just like, oh, my extreme gear is the best in no, the entire world. No, oh, you won no. because you cheated. That, that's when, just jet. That's just jet. That's just jet. You won because you cheated. But your teammate yeah, one put a freaking bomb on my gear. You call that not cheating? You fucking bitch. I be I beat you. I beat you in a game, but yet you strap a bomb to my extreme gear because you know there was no specifying. But anyway, <laughs> and I would love an play that game again because I never that's another game I had never beaten that I played when I was because I didn't know that you had to get that you had to beat every stage with every character not just Sonic that's what I thought when I was a kid I was just oh, like oh yeah. I have to play as Team Sonic because all the other teams suck no. even, but dude even back then I hated Shadow I was like 7 and I was like fuck Shadow he's a bitch that I was didn't... a I hate Shadow. God, I need to hear you talk about this guy. I hate him. Like I, I don't understand why people like him. I don't. I don't. We'll get save it for another topic. Okay. We'll how about this? How about this? Next topic, we're gonna talk about our hated characters. Please. We're just gonna, well, we're well just I don't. Gonna, well, actually, no. I, I don't think I'll be. We're just gonna do what Blake does from now on. Bitch. No. No. But, but like, I think the game. Like, I feel like the only reason why people didn't really like the game is that, is that um, the controls were pretty sticky. The controls and... were slippery, and the team aspect turned a lot of people off. I like that part. I thought the team I thought the um, team aspect was... That, Agreed. it was long. That and, the, like, the... the, the uh, what, what the hell is the padding of the game is just stupid. The what? The padding. I don't know what that means. What does that mean? It means forcing you to play the game more. That's, I mean, like that's for having to play every single character. Yeah, I, okay. To I unlock understand. the last story. That's okay. padding. And, and repetitive. Like, and another thing was is that and repetitive. Like, it felt like you were playing the same stages for every game. You were. Shut up. Anyway, no, okay. Can, like, go ahead. Like, this is yours, not mine. Well, I'm pretty much done now. None of my feelings have hurt. <laughs> Good. You hurt everyone else's feelings. Yeah. That's just me. That's why you guys that's why you guys like Yeah. Alright, who wants or hate who wants... Pikachu's. Anyway. Anyways, um the game's awesome. I would love that game being remade. Uh Child the Hedgehog Sonic character remade. Um yeah. No, that's charming. No, Charmy's cool. I like Charmy. You like Charmy? I like Charmy. He's funny. I thought like, like you said he was annoying. I, I'm not, I might have before, but like, I don't know. I grew to like him. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, yeah you, even you, though, though SBO is the best chaotic. SBO's Agreed. No, yeah, fuck definitely. That. Fuck that. It's all about Vector. I mean, Vector is funny, but in terms too. of coolness, SBO is. SBO and. Okay. Yeah, you're right. You, you have me on that. You have me on that. Dude, SBO in the comics is fucking. Oh, hell yeah, definitely. Dude. All right, so All right, who's Kevin. next? Me? Your, your turn, yeah. Oh fuck! Um, I'm, I'm, getting, I'm, gonna, I'm about to get great by some small fries. I'm gonna say Modern Warfare Three. Really? Modern Warfare Three. Modern like, Warfare. Modern I Warfare. Game was rated. I feel like no Call of Duty's ever been. Okay. No, here's the thing. Here's the thing. It got. Oh, go away! Here's the thing. It got the most sales in any Call of Duty game, but for some reason, a lot of people hate the game because it looks too much like Modern Warfare Two. And I'm like, yeah. yeah that's most, fine. Call, most Call of Duty, most Call of Duty games look. I mean, yeah, but the score tricks and the maps and the guns. It, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I understand that. I understand. That. Yeah, like different score. A lot. Most people nowadays play Call of Duty just because it's the only first-person shooter you can actually play, pick up, and play. Yeah, I can see it. That that's the only reason why people still play Call of Duty at this point. Like even I've like grown. Well, anyway. 
I Final Fantasy Three, for- like this, the maps are completely fine. The game feels amazing. The campaign was fantastic. I don't know why people did not like the Ugh. campaign as much as people should have. And the multiplayer was just I, okay. Spec Ops, I understand. Survival mode, I understand. For the extra mode, but for multiplayer, I don't see why people. I don't understand. I don't understand people's opinions at all on the multiplayer on this game because for some for some reason a lot of people hate the game for the maps and a lot of people love them the game for the maps and the games and, and I'm like for the people who hate them I'm like why and we don't get an answer I'm like uh and I'm like yeah I'm I'm still waiting for an answer motherfucker like where's your damn answer I don't know, like a lot of the overpowered weapons, like in the LMGs and the this one AR I forgot the name of was overpowered as shit. Um I don't know if that's static again. Alan, did you say something? No, I didn't say anything. Oh okay. Finally, low tide. First time. Like, Modern Warfare 3. The campaign was amazing. The multiplayer was almost perfect, except for the death streaks. That's the only thing that made that game suck. And the Spec Ops mode, I can take a hit or miss with that. Other than that, game's great. Game blows well, the maps are great, guns are great. The balancing is almost perfect, nearly perfect. I don't understand why people hate that game. A lot of people should appreciate that game for what it did to the franchise. I don't know. I just, that, that game is great. I don't understand, I don't understand why people hate that game. Also, Battlefield 4 is underrated too, now that I think about it. Well, not not really. No, you're taking my eggs. Get them back. Not, it's just a bunch of Battlefield 3 players. Battlefield 4 was also a great game too. Okay. Yeah, so Modern, Modern Warfare 3 and Battlefield 4. Alright. Shadow, do you have another game? Or was Fossil Fighters is, was the only game? Or I should know it. What was the. No, no, actually. <laughs> Spectrum. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. My bad, my bad. <laughs> I I put it onto the, like chat just so like we can keep a score of like oh, what we've god. already talked about. Oh my god, that's hilarious. But was Spec yeah, but was Spectrum was the only game, or do you have another game that we want to talk about? Uh, I'll go. Ahead, you know, let's go ahead and knock out Fossil Fighters. Why not? <laughs> okay, yeah, well there yeah, you go. Yeah, speak speak of Fossil Fighters right there. <laughs> Speaking of Fossil Fighters, what happened? No, because I said like fossil fighters, and you're, and you're like, well, I might as well talk about it now. No, Kevin said something after that. I don't oh know. God. Okay, well, okay, so I'll go ahead and talk about fossil fighters as a series, not as like my my stomach really. Like, like the entire oh. series is underrated. Because I feel like the whole series was just like swept under the rug because uh, Pokemon was the thing. So, okay, well, I guess not. Well, I'll explain as to why. Okay, so let's go ahead and start off with the first game. So the first game, uh, start off with the basis of you dig up fossils, you revive dinosaurs, and you fight in a sort of 3v3 style mm-hmm. format, which is the uh, rest, which it stays within the format. The format, 3v3 format stays for the entire series. It never changes from that point onward. The only thing that changes is the battle mechanics of how how the 3v3 is handled, but other than that, that never changed. Mm, okay, the story. Well, I, want to, I want to say the story is better than Pokemon. <laughs> By viewing Pokemon. Dude, can you mute your phone? Sorry. You're good, don't, don't worry about it. So, <laughs> in terms of the standpoint of story, False Fighters does... Okay, so it's kind of hard to do like a tournament-esque style. You know how like in animes where like we have the tournament arc? And it's just like, uh, oh, oh, okay. Oh, and any anime is, at this point, fuck. Like, really? every anime has a, a tournament arc. Yeah, a lot of animes like, have a tournament arc, and it's just like, oh, yeah, I guess shit. With, like oh, yeah, well, I guess with like Yu Gi Oh! And... Yeah, and Hero Act. Well, that's, a, well, that's a, oh, one. yeah, the ba- uh, Pokemon League. Yeah, literally every single like RPG that has to do with like monsters or whatever. That you catch or do anything with is literally has like a tournament arc. Yeah, That's literally the premise. Oh, I got to prove you're the best, and no one 
it was. <laughs> anyway, just like the open tournament arc, the fucking boring story is, ah, uh, I shall become the best fossil fighter in the game. That's the premise of the first story. That's how you start. Well, actually, that's how all two games start, but I'm not going to talk about the third one yet. So the premise of the first two games is you're having to be champion. Then the side story is, oh no, villain organization. Stop them. <laughs> While going through the tournament arc. No, yeah, Pokemon. It stays Pokemon for like those two aspects. And the rest of the... the... Oh, I'm sorry. Anyway. Tournament arc. The way you revive, again, you revive them by digging fossils from the ground. There you go. Then they, you use the, te- it, unlike the, <laughs> unlike the spectrum where you have to use your voice to revive them, you use your stylus to dig them out and revive it again. And then depending on the score that you get is dependent on the level. So in the first game, the fossils modeled in. Okay, so the fossils matter in the first game because... I feel like Kevin's just doing it on purpose. I'm not, I swear to god. <laughs> Fuck yeah, the yeah, game. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to move you. Just, just the other sh- Fine, I'll dip! You know what? <laughs> oh god. That, I don't even have my oh, phone okay. in my hand anymore, go. <laughs> okay. No, I, I threw it. I threw it across the damn room. I threw, I threw it out the window. Don't break it. Yeah, I threw. I, I threw it. I threw it in the toilet. There you go. <laughs> he threw it in the toilet. It <laughs> I threw it in the toilet. It's fired. It's dead. It's, there you go. Okay. I Continue. burned it. I, I hit it with the hammer. Continuing on. Okay. So within the first game, the mechanic of the fossils mattered more because. The fossils had to connect with the moves. So the more fossils you collected of the dinosaur, you had four to collect, determine how many moves you had on the dinosaur. Essentially, in the first game, it sucked because all your dinos sucked unless you had all four parts. And so in which case, if you played the, if you played the entire game with just like the first three dinosaurs that you had and did no digging, all you had was a team of mediocre shit, shit paste. That's literally all you had. For like within the entire game, if you ever tried to do that, which I do not recommend doing. For the second game, it didn't matter because all you would do is just you level them up and they just passively gain moves, which I guess is a plus, which is a bit more like that was kind of the only pro besides a lot of the other mechanics. But continue on, same premise of the whole villain thing, which I actually find that they made. Okay, it was more like Team Rocket, actually, which is kind of funny. They literally made for the first game just a copy paste of Team Rocket. So hey, you guys. The dog didn't talk. What? Yeah. I'm gonna go. My stomach is starting to hurt again. So, um, right. Alan, can you, Alan, you know my favorite on um, Mario game, so like, uh, just bring up some good points about it. In on yeah, of I mean, it's my also my favorite Mario game as well. So in a oh. way, I'm doing it for you. I'm doing it for both of All us. Right. So there you go. All right, thanks, Dream. Sorry, I had to leave my. I don't know why, like, all of a sudden my stomach is just like... Take some, take some ibuprofen and then some water. Alright, thanks. Alright. See you guys. Thank you for coming, Later. Blake. And have a good night. Later, Later. Take care. Good, I hate that all fucker. Right. Good, I hate that bitch. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> let, me, let me stop. Yeah, let me old, let me old joke me. out of the way. Okay, Shadow. Yeah, uh, inside, inside joke. Moving on. So... In the first game, the bro. Keep talking, I'll shut up. God damn it, Kevin. <laughs> oh, I'll okay. leave, like, how leave? Like, the fuck? <laughs> anyway, so the villain for the first game, let's imagine Team Rocket, but with a dog, essentially. Like, oh god. Alright, so, funny enough, you know how oh, in sorry. Bakugan, you know Bakugan, they have the dog battling with the Bakugan? Yeah. Yeah. Well, falsifiers came up with that first. <laughs> so now you have to fight a dog that uses the dino, which makes no absolute sense. But I was, when I was a kid, I was just like, okay, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> like, yeah, this works. This makes sense. 
And then they do it again. And the, the funny thing is, they do it again on the second game, except they do it a little more subtle in where they how have many, a. How many games are of fossil fighters are there anyway? Uh, there's only three until they decide to fuck it on the fuck it up on the third one. There's rumors to be a fourth one soon for Switch. I have my doubt. I am saying hopeful. Because if there is, I'm buying it immediately. Because fuck sakes, I'm supporting that shit and not letting it go and not letting it die again. Because holy shit. Ooh. Anyways, so then they do the whole dog thing shenanigans again on the second game. But they do it more subtle. Instead of having it blatant, they have a girl in the tournament. But instead, the dog is a princess who rules a kingdom. Sounds who familiar. Rules a who rules the country? Because Sounds it was because the whole. Yeah, except the lady doesn't. It's not a corgi, Kevin. It's a pug. It's a bulldog. A, a, a corgi. It's not a corgi. It's a bulldog. A bulldog. A bulldog. Dog. Yep. I think both games are bulldogs. Jesus, <laughs> I'm realizing so many things to recycle. <laughs> 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 oh boy. Anyways. So yeah, backstory to dogs. Yeah, apparently their country was so bad they had to make dogs their rulers, and so that way they have like peace within the country with that shit the situation. So that's how that ensued. So then you had the dog, you had to fight the dog at some point in the tournament, and you beat it. And then your um, friend character, your supposed rival, even though you have three rivals, like four rivals, including your side, the um friend character that you beat in the first match to god's sake he does the quote like wow i got beaten by a dog a dog got farther than me in the tournament <laughs> it was just like when i read that the first time i'm like oh my god you just feel bad for him and so for the first game for the first two games it went like that the third game they decided to derail the entire shit series. They just decided to rewrite the entire thing from scratch because they're like, we're tired of tournament arcs. You're now a Pokemon Ranger, <laughs> except for dinosaurs. <laughs> except it's in like a shit format because you have to drive. For some shit reason, they wanted to shoehorn a car. For no apparent reason, they shoehorned a car. It's like the movement in the game was fine until they shoehorned the car. So now you have to move inside the car. Then the worst part was you can no longer save in the overworld because you have to go back to the garage, get out of the car, and then save. Oh, yeah, by the way, you couldn't save any of the fossils because the, they actually made it to where it's like more realistic. So now you have to go onto the site, dig the fossil at the site. You can't, you can't just take your leisure time. You can never turn off the game ever again. Mm -hmm. One of those FPS games were like, oh, no, if I turn it off, I'll lose my save date, my save data. Yeah. So then pretty much it's been like that. So that's what happened for like why the game series died and all. So they decided to make you a ranger with like, I don't even know why. They thought they had to make like seven side characters for one game. I mean, Just Final like, 3 did the same thing. Yep. No, no, no. Okay, so you know how like in X and Y there's like so many side characters that no one gave a shit about? Yeah. That, but worse, because <laughs> all the game, like all the characters, were so boring and uninteresting, and you know the writers were so like, uh, we don't care about these characters, just just play the game and get it over with. <laughs> Great, oh, so bad. But yeah, so essentially, each character had their quote unquote quirk of why they were supposed to be likable, but none of the characters were so likable. All of them were just so garbage and crap. I just can't stand it. Then, of course, like, all the other dinosaurs didn't matter because by that point, the story decided to shoehorn also that you only needed one dinosaur to main because that would be the only dinosaur you used to fight. Because I didn't mention, they kept the 3v3 format, yes. But then the worst part is they decided to shoehorn and think, oh, yes, let's put AIs to, as your partners. And if anyone knows about AIs, that's terrible. So I'll go ahead and go through the battle system. The battle system works in order to use a stamina system, but not in any sort of stamina system. You use points that refill every turn. And so these points would refill every turn, and you would use them normally under circumstances by yourself. 
in this case with the AI, the AI would just use their biggest move in like every single RPG. For some stupid reason, the AI just loved to like use their biggest move that cost the most on like the one, and I'm exaggerating, on the one enemy that has like one HP. That's how terrible it was. Like, oh god. I couldn't stand it. I haven't played the game. I only watched it and I couldn't stand it. I was just like, oh god, how can you play this game? I'll probably play it to torture myself, but shit, hell. But no, the two, the first two games, if anyone ever gets a chance to, like, get an emulation of it, because I'm quite sure it already is an emulation, pick it up and play it for yourself. Don't play the third one. Don't bother with it. If any of you just want to be like, I just want to play one game of Fossil Fighter, that's actually good. If you want a good story-based one, play the first one. If you want a good story that throws you for loop but also has good gameplay, play the second one. That's all I can say. The third one does not exist, in my opinion. But pretty much, that's just the synopsis of Fossil Fighters. Or a terrible one at that. But, you know, we have a short period of time because we're running out of time. I mean, you did uh, good, Shadow. I mean, you did good. Like, you... Yeah, you did great. Because, like, I feel like in, like, past podcasts that we did before you, on YouTube, you know, you, you did speak, like, a little bit. But now, you know, you're, like, going all in with Fossil Fighters. And it's, like, nice to see that, you know, you go in-depth about it. I mean, that's like, like, like in reality, that is like a shitty synopsis. Because <laughs> literally, someone I mean, could do a probably like, better job at it. Than me. Hell, I don't know. You just need to make a video about fossil fires and. You know, I wanted to. I really do actually want to, but I have to get like a uh, capture card first in order to actually get the footage. Ah. Uh, okay. All right. Then me getting a DS that actually has a capture system within it, aside the Elgato. Okay. So, that, it's a work in progress. It will come to fruition, but it's going to take some time. Probably in the summer I'll make it by that point. I mean, hey, you know. maybe. I mean, hey, your audience will be looking forward to it. No, they're just they're just probably waiting for another shitty... They're probably just waiting for another Pokemon, shitty Pokemon <laughs> oh AMV video. Oh my god. What they're waiting for? Probably, yeah, probably. I mean, the the two of them that you made, you know, got a lot of views. <laughs> yeah, yeah, literally for one k, like the height, like the lowest was just like three k. What a shitstorm! All right, so I'm gonna mention one more game, and then we'll talk about a little bit of our favorite Mario games, and then we'll wrap it up because we're sort of running. Yeah, because I think we we spent so long. <laughs> I mean, it's okay, Actually, you know. Yeah. That's fine. Actually, Alan, Alan, if you want, you can go ahead and take the Meg Man one in that case. Since we're well, I mean, I got another game to talk about. Okay, that's fine. What Mega Man game? The uh, Star Force series. Oh. Alright, another one of my favorite underrated games. L.A. Noir. Really? Yeah, dude. Dude! Have you played L.A. Noir, Kevin? Yeah, I played it on PS3. I think when that game came out, like, I was, like, doing a little bit of research, and when the game came out, like, it was a bit popular, but then it sort of, like, you know, it's, fell off it's kind of, the face of the earth. It, it fell off, and then it became a hidden gem. Exactly, and I got it, like, when it came to Switch. Like, I played it, like, in early 2018, and... You, you got it, like, right when it came out. Yeah, because it came to Switch in November, but then I waited two months later because it was, um... It had it, a discount. Yeah, they ha it had a discount, and I bought it. I think it was like for forty bucks or so. It was like forty dollars. It was, it was something like that. Yeah, so I bought it, and I wanted to give it a shot, and I really liked the game. You know, I thought it was really good. You know, you're playing as like Detective Cole Phelps. You know, you're solving different types of cases, and I always love detective games like this, like in the Batman Arkham games. I just love solving shit, so I that's the reason why I bought that game in the first place. I bought it because I wanted to sort of expand my gaming horizon by trying different types of genres and franchises and I don't know, something about L.A. Noir sort of piqued my interest. That game is great. I don't, I don't know why people don't talk about it anymore. It really is great because, you know, think about it, you know, you're solving different types of cases, you have to make sure, you know, you get the right guy, you know, make sure, like, whenever you do, like, the some of the interrogations in the game, you know. You yeah, give you the three options. Yeah. yeah, it gives you the three options to either, you know, say, oh, okay, this guy is telling the truth, or, you know, 
could be lying or maybe just doubting on what he's saying or she depending on who or you're she. interrogating yeah and you know it, it was really nice you know it was a really cool like I, it's, it's like one of those games that you know I never played before because mostly I would just stick to like you know Nintendo games and obviously Nintendo games but doesn't I... really have these type of games like this but Spider-Man made you. But surprisingly, the Switch when it's so weird when the Switch first came out, no one would expect all these different third-party games to even. Be, no one expected Overwatch to be on Switch. And Witcher Three. And Witcher Three, and Doom, and all these other bloody. But Mortal Kombat 11's on Switch. Can you believe that? Yeah, it's insane. Like Mortal Kombat's on Switch. A Nintendo product has a Mortal Kombat the main Mortal Kombat game. Mm -hmm. Actually, no. Mortal Kombat has been on the original consoles before. Yeah, well, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, NES, but, like, the newer ones really haven't been. Uh, Armageddon on Wii? That's, that's my, I mean, from, like, MK, like, 9 onward. Like, not, like, 9, 10, and 11. But anyway. Yeah. Well, yeah, because graphics. The yeah, graphics, man. The graphics. graphics. God, God, graphics, man. Graphics. It's all about the graphics. I know, right? like, no fuck, one yeah, fuck the gameplay. It's all about the graphics. Yeah, yeah. Fuck the story. Fuck the gameplay. Fuck the multiplayer. It's all about graphics. <laughs> I only, I only play 4K, bitch. Get on my level. I get graphics. The graphics. <laughs> oh my god. What was that? Shut up with the graphics. The graphics. John the graphics. Do you not remember when John Trent quoted that? Like, yeah, uh, yeah, that's funny. I miss him. Doesn't he like whatever? Um, he doesn't remember my clients anymore. If you're wondering, no, he doesn't. Damn. But what 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 was your favorite thing about the game? I don't know because I'm actually very curious about it. I mean, like I said earlier, my favorite part was like um. You know the interrogation scenes the, were. You the know. interrogations. Yeah, I mean, obviously there was like some cases to where I kind of sucked, to where I kind of failed some of them, and you know I got the wrong I, guy. I I lowkey had to look up a walkthrough because because I kept failing them so much for like one. I had I, I had to look up the walkthrough. This is from like ten years ago, so I had to look up on YouTube. Holy shit, I was dumb. Yeah, you arrest the you arrest this guy, but then you let the criminal go free. Exactly. I was like, God damn it. That's like if Kai burned down the house and then I arrest Blake for burning the house down for no reason. <laughs> it's like, hey Blake, you burned down the house? No. Okay, you're under arrest. Wait, what? I didn't do anything. <laughs> boy, I didn't do boy. anything. I'm innocent. I want a lawyer. Well, you should have thought of this. But I didn't do it though. <laughs> settle, settle, settle in court. <laughs> What court? And then Blake's committed guilty. <laughs> and then Blake, and then, and then Kai just, Kai and Blake go to jail. Blake somehow thrown into this. Oh my god. Oh god. <laughs> but then Blake also- is somehow a witness even though he- what? Uh, I was gonna say, and also like the fact that, you know, it's kinda like an open world as well to where- It kinda is to an extent, which I appreciate that they did that. Yeah, because like you drive in a car, you sort of like drive into the different types of locations. Yeah. There's like kinda, side missions. It's, it's kind of similar, even though Ellen War came out first. It's kind of similar to the Order eighteen eighty six on PS four. Really? It kind of is because the whole game is basic. Well, the, well, the Order eighteen eighty six is basically a giant ass movie with like maybe four percent gameplay. But even then, it kind of has like the same aspect of Ellen War. Mm-hmm. Because Alien Noir so, takes place in like the 1940s, I believe. 1930s, some, 1940s. 1930s, 40s, and this I think it's like some, some sort of during like a war. I think it's like the Civil War, or like some, some war. Well, I mean, considering it's like 1886, it obviously Eight, has to take place. It's 1886. Place. Yeah, so, and there was so no World I'm War guessing, One or anything like that. There's no World War One, but it was like it was in 1886, and something was happening, and so he had to go and solve the thing and do quests on the thing, and there were side quests on the thing, and had to solve puzzles. Most of the time it was just cutscenes, but there's like maybe four percent of gameplay, and that's all you did. And I'm like, mm, meh. And then I literally said out loud at the end of the game, like, "Damn, this ain't nothing like Ellie Noir." <laughs> Ellie Noir is like such the better game on this game because everyone said that the game was like Ellie Noir, and I'm like, "Where do you see the comparisons? I don't see this shit." Yeah, I mean, like I said, I really did like 
I really did enjoy the open world and they had like different side missions that you can do like you could do the main case but if you want you can go do like a side mission like let's they say you can do a side case like let's say like there's like someone getting beat up in an alleyway you can go stop them and you know I thought it was like really cool yeah and yeah you know unfortunately you know it didn't really got a lot of people talking about that game but I mean I hey, mean, it... I, mean I got I, as long as I was able to play this hidden gem you know it, it was a really good and my experience I was good. I love this game. That game was amazing. I I remember beating it late at night at like two a.m. and I I didn't scream, but I woke up my dad and he was like, "Where are you up?" And I'm like, "I beat a game." And I'm like, "What game?" I like noir. Cool. Go to bed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just beat a game. I scream. Go to bed. Okay. I think that was what. I mean, every panel. <laughs> I just beat the game. Okay, what do we know? Go to bed. Okay. I think it was the same thing with Blake with Mega Man X. Yeah, it was the same thing with yeah, Mega Man X and Blake. Dude, I I remember beating a lot of games that night at like two a.m. or some shit. I don't know why, but I remember beating a lot of games around like late at night. I remember there was this one funny moment that happened in LA Noir, to where uh, I was I was leaving the police station and. I was about to get in the car and like usually the, he the, like uh the, the Cole Phelps does like an animation to where like you know he's sort of like about to open the door and then get in the car and stuff. Yeah. And so I was about to get in the car and then all of a oh, sudden some random wait. car comes out of nowhere and runs me over. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what the f what the hell? Oh my god! So I decided to be an asshole. He was like, let me run this cop over. <laughs> Yeah, let me run this detective over real quick. I'm sure he Like, that was just so funny. Like, it came out of nowhere, and I was just, like, dying laughing. Like, I wasn't even mad about it. Like, it was no. just hilarious. No, no, um, <laughs> It's like that. Um, it's like you driving off a cliff Alan. in Need for Speed. Alan. No, no, the AI is playing fucking GTA while you're here playing LA Noir. <laughs> oh my god. It's like when you're. It's like when. When you're online friend invades your game like bye bitch <laughs> exactly <laughs> what's up with the fuck oh That's man funny. it was it, was, it was such a funny moment like that was one that of the was, best was... memories i had with la noir dude that sounds hilarious oh my like, god I, like funny enough like I, like when i was thinking about la noir and talking about it right now for the podcast it really makes me want to play it again same here, like, I want to go back and play fucking Modern Warfare 3 and Watch Dogs. I want to go back and play Odyssey again. Yeah, like, maybe this year, maybe I'll actually stream Ellie Noir for, for you guys. There there you go, there, do that. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'm down for it, because, you know, I really did enjoy the game, and I really do want to replay it again, but this time on stream, so that way you guys can watch. I will gladly stream Watch Dogs. Well, there you go. See, if you, see gladly, you stream Watch Dogs, gladly. and I'll stream Ellie Noir. There you go, we'll do it, like, every, every week thing. There you go, we'll switch it off. I mean, we're not making promises here. Well, I mean, with that, I mean, obviously, in terms of the games, and yeah, we will I mean, it was just an idea. I'm not, I mean, it was just an idea. I'm not saying we're going to do it. Okay, yeah, I figured. I'm not saying we're going to do it, because, I mean, we're all busy and shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, so before we wrap up the podcast, uh, since today is Mario Day, uh, Blake came up with the idea to where, you know, we sort of talk about one of our favorite Mario games. So we'll just go around and say what's our favorite Mario games real quick, and then we'll wrap it up. So, do you want do you want me to go first, or do you guys want to go? Uh, you can go first. Okay. So, obviously, again, like, this was like when we were on YouTube to where we did our old podcast, where we did our top three favorite games of all time. And me and Blake both had a Mario game on there, and one of the Mario games that, you know, is loved to our hearts is Super Mario Galaxy. The first one or the second one? Uh, well, Blake says the first one. For me, it's like both Galaxy and Galaxy Two. Yeah, I figured because that on that you picked two for like you you pick two picks for your honorable mentions and for your picks, and I'm like you can't do that. Well, I had it in my honorable mentions, and Blake had it in his number three. Like that was his number. No, because you had you had SA one and two, and Super Galaxy one and two, and I'm like. Oh yeah 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 yeah. You had one of them in auto dimension and one of like number two, and I'm like, what the hell is this? <laughs> it's like, this is such a cheap cop out. I mean, I'll just give like a quick brief description, but like, yeah, Super Mario Galaxy, you know, it was like, it was like, no, a, it was a very it. special game, because, you know, I got the game, 
on the Wii. I think it was like the third game I got on the Wii. I played it and it was really fun and it left me with great memories with that game. Like there were some some uh, frustrating moments from time to time. But, you know, obviously that's because I was a kid, but if I would have played it now, it wouldn't be that bad. But, man, it's just like the different types of galaxies you go to, Mario's control, Rosalina being introduced into this game for the first time. It's just like, oh man, everything about that game is just so special, and Nintendo really did went all out on this game. Both those games actually, and, you know, that's why they're my favorite Mario games of all time, and as well as for Blake, you know, I assume Blake would probably say the same thing. So, yeah, so that's why, you know, Super Mario Galaxy is one of my favorite Mario games. So, nice. alright, so, Kevin, do you want to go next? Yeah, I'll go. Um, this may come as a surprise to some of you guys, but my favorite Mario game is actually probably Odyssey. Okay. Pro it has to be Odyssey because that game blew me away. Like, I didn't think I was going to have that much fun with Odyssey. This is the most fun I had playing a Mario game in fucking decades. Like, my entire life, I've never thought I would have this much fun playing a damn Mario game. Like, what were your favorite parts in Mario Odyssey? Just collecting all of the moons, and I like exploring all of the little nooks and crannies the game had to offer. Like, and just the visuals itself were just breathtaking. Like, if I had to take away anything from the game, it had to have been the presentation because that game looks gorgeous. Especially with like what Lake and the Snow Kingdom and the Wooded Kingdom, like those those kingdoms just look so good. I agree. Those 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 kingdoms itself. It took I spent like three hours in the wood in the wooded kingdom alone. Like when I first got to the I said this on the on our previous podcast on uh, YouTube, but I spent three hours in the wooded kingdom right when I got there just because I couldn't I could not stop playing that one kingdom. I got I collected everything in that one kingdom like the first time I was in there. I did not get out of that kingdom. Mm-hmm. And I went back and I got all the stickers for the Odyssey. I got all the outfits. That's another thing I got. I grinded coins just to get all the outfits. Like I went to the same exact spot for maybe like two hours just to get all the damn outfits in the game. Okay. It was it, it was a bit of a hassle, but I still did it. Because <laughs> going to the same place, dying, and then getting all the coins. It was tedious. It was tedious. It was annoying. I still did it because it was the game. The story. It's a Mario game. So, it's a fucking Mario game, you know what happens. But I like the aspect of it, and Bowser's Castle is, in this game, kind of weak, not gonna lie. Well, kinda I mean, technically weak. the Bowser Kingdom, I mean, it wasn't really a castle, it was just more like... It some... wasn't a castle, it was just like a, a section. A, a kingdom, essentially. A, a kingdom, and in previous games, I would say Bowser's Castle, I think from Galaxy 2 would be a better hit. Well, technically, it's more like has, like, a Japanese aesthetic, like a palace yeah, or so. Yeah, so yeah, it's, like, it's like a Japanese aesthetic. So they sort of, like, yeah, drifted away from having it being a Bowser's castle. Yeah, which I didn't really like that. That's the only thing I have a gripe with the game is that the final, like, Bowser's Kingdom really didn't do anything for me. I mean, yeah, the challenges were kind of... Even then, the challenges in Bowser's Castle were kind of easy, other than maybe, like, one or two parts. But other than that, I kind of blazed through that. Because the, what was it, that giant box boss thing? Yeah, it's where you fight all the that brutals. Was, yeah, all the brutals, that was easy. And then the final boss itself was just kind of... Nah, there was no final boss, so I get that. The one thing I will take away was that dragon. That dragon flipped me the hell off. Oh man, dude, that like, dragon that, boss. Like, that dragon, that dragon boss, I don't think... Whoever was in charge of that needs to get a raise, like a big ass fucking raise. That's like straight up Dark Souls type shit. And exactly. that was amazing. Exactly. Yeah. I'm quite sure the last thing people anyone expected was like, oh, a dragon in Mario. Oh, a <laughs> giant a giant fucking fire breathing dragon in a Mario game. This, this is this is genius. Like I don't know who made who I don't know who made up. Probably Reggie or fucking okay, well, it's not Reggie. Not Reggie, no. I not Reggie because he left. But whoever made up that decision, 
Oh my god, congratulations. You have made one of the best moments in gaming history, and you, sir, deserve a race. Or ma'am, I don't judge. You know what would have been better? What if, like, you beat the oh. dragon, and then afterwards Bowser shows up, and he's like, Alright, I'm gonna have to beat you guys myself. And then you take control of the dragon, and then you fight Bowser as the dragon. Oh, that would be awesome. Dude, also, when, when dude, that, the... poten dude that would have been awesome. Like, the amount of potential that that would have been. Oh that man, it would have gone through the roof. Yeah, the first thing, the first thing I did was try to possess that thing, and I couldn't do it. And I was like, damn it. <laughs> So, so yeah, Mario, that... Mario, but yeah, Mario Odyssey blew me away. Like that game was amazing, obviously. Okay, I mean that's cool. Also, speaking of Odyssey, uh, shout out to Blake for actually beating Super Mario Odyssey just not too long ago. Yeah, he actually finally beat the. Beat yeah, the game. he beat it a couple of days ago. So everyone, he, give a shout out to Blake. Woo! He won a cook. Yeah, here, here's a shit cookie. There you go, Blake. Yeah, yeah, Blake. Here's an oatmeal cookie. I, I know <laughs> here, somewhere in the distance he's like, here's an oatmeal cookie. He's, he's like here. giving us the middle finger, but hey, man. Hey, Blake. Hey. Right back at you. Here's a chocolate chip cookie, but I put, but I took my shit and dipped it in a little bit. So here you go. Here's, here's a chocolate chip shit cookie. <laughs> you just pretend it like, yeah, Blake, yeah, Blake. It's a chocolate chip cookie. Yeah, it's a, it's a chocolate chip cookie. What does it smell Taste like? Crap. It. Um. No, no reason. No reason. It's Kai's, it's, it's, it's Kai's fault. It has a special recipe in it. We'll just say that. <laughs> it's Kai's fault. There you go. Blame Kai. Jesus. Alright. Shadow, do you have a favorite Mario game? Uh, okay, so we, let me turn, so let me recap. We went through Odyssey. We went through... What was it? What was it? Galaxy. Galaxy 1 and 2. I would say I haven't personally played it, but I would say Rabbids. Because technically it's Mario game. I mean that's Rabbids. another game. I really do love that game. That's well. another that's another game. I'm so I still have to beat that damn game. I, I have it's been on my back burner for years at this point. You played it for a little bit, but then you stopped. Oh, yeah. I I played it then I had life get in the way, that's the problem. I just have to I just have to go back and beat the damn thing. I'm about halfway through the game right now. Alright, Shadow, continue. Oh shit! <laughs> I, I mean, like I said, I haven't played the game. I mean, I've watched a lot of it. Um, from what I could see, it was really good of a game, to be honest. The way you did a strategy platforming uh, at the same time was pretty good. The team mechanic was great. Um, losing a team member is definitely very impactful, especially in that game. The only thing I can do, only say as a takeaway is fucking Toad missions. Like, why? Yeah, why do that's what fucking escort mission. Yeah, those were a little annoying. Like, I could see why, because they wanted to sort of add a bit of mix to the gameplay, but at the same time, it was a little annoying. Yeah, like, add the Yeah. Oh, God, sick. But yeah, and then even upgrading, like, you have an upgrade chart for the characters. It's pretty interesting thing in the game. If I could play it myself, I would, but obviously, I don't have the game. I mean, you, you so, should, okay. Shadow. It's a really good game. What game is it? They want to. Mario Rabbits, Kevin. Oh, Mario yeah. Kingdom Rabbits. Yeah, that game is amazing. Like, I, but of it's, course, it's so it's so XCOM esque. It's insane. Like, I would not be surprised if the developer from XCOM came in and actually worked on this game for them. I mean, Ubisoft made the game, so Ubisoft made the game, but I'm pretty sure Ubisoft did not make XCOM exactly. Like And next com is an amazing series. But yeah, Shadow, you should definitely give this game a shot. I, I think you'll I think you'll like it. I would. You would if like Pokemon it. Pokemon DLC would give me for fuck's sakes. <laughs> if Pokemon DLC didn't exist, because I forgot. We have Pokemon shit to do. <laughs> Pretty much. I still haven't gotten Pokemon Sword and Shield. I don't think I'll get Sword and Shield. I still have to get it so, because you know Blake wants to do uh, raids on Pokemon, so yeah. Oh yeah, I, I'll still. I'm gonna have to get it. I'm still gonna. I'll get it. I'll get it eventually. You want what? I want to stream it for summer just to do the dark type challenge, just using only dark type or mono type challenge, as they call it. Okay. Because cool. I feel like that would be somewhat more difficult. It's like that, and also you can do the expansion pass, like the. 
The Isle, no, the Isle of no Armor? Shit. Yeah, no shit. I'm gonna buy it for that. But I mean, like, first I have to beat the main game first. And then I, mean, I am oh, yeah, 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 of course. going to Isle of Armor. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, no shit. <laughs> but doesn't, didn't Blake want to have Alan say something about his favorite game, too? Yeah, it was Galaxy, remember? Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. Oh. Dude, I'm so tired. It's not even funny. Like, I yeah, Kevin's having time. short term memory loss. I am having short because I'm so fucking tired. And then he's like, wait, what we were talking about? <laughs> I was like, oh, this. Okay, now what we're talking about? <laughs> wait, what was the podcast again? <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, oh, wait, we're streaming? What? <laughs> like last Ooh, time. We're streaming? Like what? Also, uh, I wanted to. I, I forgot to mention this for uh, Kai, but uh, his three three favorite underrated games were Wonder Boy, Dragon's Trap, Prey, and Generation Zero. I don't know what any of those games are, but okay. Well, Prey is made from Bethesda. Well, I know, I know, I know what Prey is, but the other two I don't. Uh, Wonder Boy is an indie type game, and Generation Zero. Uh, I've heard of it, but I'm not sure what it's about. Isn't it? Isn't it like some sort of strategy game, or am I thinking something else? I'm not sure. I might be thinking something else. Yeah. I mean, if Kai was here, he would probably explain why he yeah. would, why these are his favorite underrated games. But unfortunately, he kind of had stuff going on. So yeah, but he did at least he did you know posted these games in the chat and wanted me to mention them real quick. So there you go, Kai. And yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for the first episode of the TOG podcast. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, you know, make sure to give us a follow on Twitch. And like I said this earlier at the beginning of the podcast, I will upload it on YouTube tomorrow. So if any of you guys that missed the podcast um, tonight or yesterday, if you're watching it tomorrow, then yeah, there you go. It'll, it'll be up on YouTube. I'll set it as a premiere. I'll be in the chat, you know, just in case if you guys have any questions or any thoughts, then, you know, I'll make sure to be there and, you know, answer your, any questions or any thoughts you guys may have. And yeah. Oh. And also, and also subscribe to the YouTube channel as well because, um, you know, obviously we're going to have the podcast go up. Like, every podcast that we'll do is going to go up on YouTube. So that way, you know, if you guys miss them, then there you go. You guys can watch them. And also for us to, you know, just watch them again and, you know, have some laughs and enjoy what we said in previous podcasts and stuff because, you know, we really did miss doing them. Yeah, we all miss doing those podcasts. Yeah. But I think we made we made the YouTube channel just to have all those to have all those videos so we can go back and watch them at any point in time. That's why we made the YouTube channel in the first place. It was just talk about video games, and YouTube fucked us. I mean, they kind of so, did. Yeah. Uh, not directly, more indirectly. But... Indirectly, they fucked us. They fucked us, and that's that's the end of the point. They fucked us. So we went. We we moved over to Twitch. To fix that shit, and now we're gonna re-upload all the podcasts for your viewing pleasure. Pretty much. Also, about the podcast, uh, we're probably gonna do them every two weeks because uh, I think it's best like if one week we do a chat and chill stream here on Twitch, and then the other week we do a podcast. That sounds like a good schedule. Yeah. So next week we'll do a chat and chill stream, and then two weeks we'll do another podcast we'll do episode two i think we'll either do either our favorite and hated characters or maybe we'll do or we'll talk about animal crossing new horizons because that game comes out next week and can't wait i know that you and chris really do want to talk about that game so. can't wait man <laughs> dude i'm so hyped i'm so fucking hyped when, when does it come out 10 days 10 days can't come soon enough march 20th i'm marking it uh, ten, ten, days till, days. ten days till Animal ten, Crossing. Ten days. Ten days. Almost a week. We're almost there, guys. We're almost there. Yeah. So we'll see what we'll do for episode two. But hey, you know, hope you guys enjoyed episode one. And, you know, any any thoughts you guys want to say or... Animal Crossing New Horizons is going to be the best game of all fucking time. <laughs> I mean, who <laughs> no, knows? I mean, it could no, be, no, yeah. I mean, I, I mean, it is looking to be a great Animal Crossing game. Dude, I'm, dude, I'm beyond hyped. Like, I need this game. I already I already it on my Switch digitally, so I'm good. Like, just give me the game, Nintendo. Just give me the code. I mean, they'll give I, it to I, I, they'll give it to you in ten got, days. I already got the code, but give me the damn code again. I mean, I mean, you already have it on the Switch, so all you gotta do is I, wait ten days to play. I already have it on the Switch. I I just gotta update it. That's it. 
Yeah, well, that and also you gotta wait 10 days to play it, so. Damn it. Alright, anything, Shadow? Do you, is that it? Uh, I think I'm good. Alright. I don't really have anything also, else. Also, another, I just gotta say, one um, one more other underrated game is Infamous. That's another game I was gonna I talk love about. that game. I love just messing around with that game and not doing any of the missions. I just oh yeah, it. just infamous. This that whole, that whole, that whole game. franchise is underrated. No one talks about it anymore. I know one chick on YouTube who actually loves that series, and she's actually, she made a very valid. I forgot, I forgot what her name was. It's, a, it's, it's like, it's like, it's like it's, it's, have the console, but I don't have the console. All I gotta say is that they fucked up the whole series in Second Son. That's all I'm gonna say. That game was way too fucking easy, and they ruined that whole fucking franchise after after Second Son. That's all I'm saying. But the first two games are I mean, amazing. Kevin, you 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 play as a fucking humanoid god. How how hard do you want the game to be? <laughs> well, I mean, pl play Infamous Two and you'll see what I mean. Want it, you want it to be Dark Souls hard or Cuphead hard? Not not Dark Souls hard. Not Dark. It's just the difficulty in Infamous One where it was perfect. Like it was not too, it was not too hard, not too not too easy. It was just right down in the middle, just straight down in the middle. And Infamous. And in Infamous Second Son, the difficulty was way too easy and linear. It was like, and the game didn't explain anything from Infamous 2 over to Second Son. You had to buy a DLC, and I can't even get the DLC anymore. So you can't even get what explains how Infamous 2 got to Second Son. That's bullshit. Sucker Punch, fix that shit. I know you're working on Days of the... Was it Days of... No, it's Ghost of Ghost, Tsushima. Ghost, Ghost of Tsushima, but fix that shit in Infamous Second Son, I swear to God. That's not gonna happen. I know it's not gonna happen. Yeah, it's it's like I've, a one-time thing. Like, they got it out, and like, there. Yeah, that's pretty much their whole DLC. Anyway, the, the whole series is amazing. Infamous 1 is my favorite in the series. And because I feel like it was just... I had the most fun in. I like the whole... That whole story of Infamous was just perfect. I don't know how Sucker Punch managed to get something out like that around that time with Uncharted 2 coming out and Modern Warfare 2 was out and here comes Sucker Punch with their first new IP in probably what, seven years from Sly Cooper? And they came out with this game! And it was good. It got mixed reviews. I personally loved it. I didn't play it until around Infamous 2 came out, but still, I love the game. And then they fucked everything up in Second Son. Uh, the game was way too easy. Way too easy. Even on the hardest difficulty, it was way too easy. Okay. And I, and I completed that game 100% for both sides. Alright. So. Yeah. Well, I mean, there you go. At least you've got Infamous in there. Unfortunately, like, had, towards near the end of the podcast, but hey, at least you got it out there. I got it out there. That's all I gotta say. I just love that series so much. I just wish that it got a lot more love, because no, I hear no one talk about it anymore, other than, like, maybe a few people on Twitter. Okay. And even then, like, this one chick on YouTube. I forget what her name was. She starts with, like, a Z or something. Go check her out and watch her videos on Infamous Second Son and all the whole Infamous franchise. It's a great, it's a great, great, great watch. Okay. Just look up Infamous anal Analyze or Analyst or whatever the hell it is and you'll find her. Alright, well that's going to do it for the podcast so thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Later.